Hello everyone and welcome back to the Four Pillars podcast. I'm one of your hosts, George, and I'm joined today by Tyler and Ethan. How's it going, guys? It's the Three Pillars, hello. The yeah. Three Pillars. Yeah, it's the Three of us. The three we pillars. got rid of James. Yeah. We've killed James yeah. off. He's dead. He's um, gone. We don't and like now, him anymore. And, and now it's a game of who dies next. Um, yeah, exactly. It's going to be a weekly <laughs> thing where one of us you gets weeded Cluedo? out each time. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's a bit like Cluedo, except it's very yeah. obvious who the murderer is amongst us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the murderer among us? Among us? Oh, no. That, that didn't oh, take long, did I'm it, sorry. George? See, um, if James was here, you would have laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, if James was here, you would have laughed at that. Unfortunately, you're dead in the water today, mate. We're going to have to step oh, it up God. to the big boy humour. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to have some actual comedy material today. Fuck. No, if it's all the same, Shit. so will I. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so James is not here currently. Um, it, I, pres- I presume, I presume he's already tweeted about it. Um, just before he we started yeah. recording, that he's that he's 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 not he's not doing too great really. Um, mm. but but he's 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 working on trying to find a solution to it, and that's really all there is mm. to that one. Um, so in the meantime, unfortunately, we have to we have to get cracking. So we have killed him off, and we will yeah, be yeah, discussing yeah. we'll be discussing the four pillars stuff without his presence today but hopefully he'll be back before long um and he'll be his usual self carrying most of the conversations with pure waffle but until <laughs> then we're all gonna have to compensate which yep. which is a huge huge challenge for me because while i enjoy talking i wouldn't say i'm especially good at it especially not long <laughs> so here we are I think um, that's the case for all of us bar tyler to be honest <laughs> well, <laughs> this is what i do mate this is what i do i don't know yeah. i i can talk under fucking wet cement i can talk under water this you can't <laughs> shut me up it's who i am up i'm always <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I don't understand this, what that this means. What, it's it's just a, an old saying. I don't know. You it's what my it's what my cement. teachers used to say and what my parents used to say when I was like that's so a kid. funny. You like, could like, talk yeah. under fucking water. You could talk under wet cement. No <laughs> fucking talking. Like, you can like, just talk. Is so good at speaking that you can speak when he's in a solid. Oh, it's just it's the way I've always been. Like public speaking, I always loved at school. Oh, I was always God. such a massive fan of it because no. I sucked at like when it came to like any like English and doing like any writing subjects like. There was always, like, every term you'd have a fucking written piece, an essay, and then mm-hmm. you'd also have your, like, public speech, like, your speech, your oral presentation. And I always fucking sucked at my writing and my essays yeah. were terrible, but I would fucking make up for it by getting, like, A-pluses on my oral presentations. So that's why yeah. I always just like public speaking, because I could talk so well. And I, I just found it very easy. So I was, like, the opposite, strangely. Like, I remember yeah. my oral speaking exam in, like, year 11 or year 10. I don't remember what it was during my GCSEs. And fucking hell, I hated it. But my, uh, like, creative... Well, not creative writing, but analytic writing, I really enjoyed. And yeah. I got some damn good grades of that shit. And I guess that yeah. shows with our content as well. Because yeah. I, I, you talk a lot and you have the Tynamite show and stuff like that. And that's yeah. more of, like, a less scripted, more personality-based thing. And then I do little fucking videos that are sometimes too long and then I'll skip them. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's it. yeah that's it and, mm. and the, that's just it's about finding what your niche is like I tried to do like the scripts for quite a while yeah um, like you boys do and, and I mean I can do it and I and I'm a lot and I worked really hard in school to get better at writing and by the time I was in like my senior year like I was actually a really like way better writer than I was heading yeah, into yeah. high school and stuff I, I spent so much time writing to try to get better because I knew I'm like mm-hmm. I'm not doing fuck I was always good at maths but I was like when the fuck am I going to use maths in my life when I want to make movies yeah. and make yeah. videos and shit like who gives a fuck like just because I'm naturally good at it made no sense mm-hmm. I needed to focus on writing so I worked really hard at getting better at that yeah, so I can write right. scripts but I don't find it natural for me no, like it's I, not yeah. what I want to do and I, I think that's pretty obvious I think I'm with you on that one I'm not very good at writing scripts I'll look at a script and go Right, it was coherent, but when when translated to to the mouth, it's not it's not very it's not very coherent then, and it <laughs> makes no sense. So I often have a script as like a general guide. I'll do bullet points and stuff, and then I'll disregard the rest. Yeah. Um, yeah, I often go off on tangents and videos well. and explain things that way because it's just easier than writing a full on script. As for recording, yeah. it sounds like audio, yours is scripted to be fair, Ethan. You flow really well. Like you you don't um and you you don't ah you really. You know, I mean, I'm sure you edit things like that out as well. Uh, but yeah, it sounds you should like... see the you should see the bloopers, man. It's hours, <laughs> just, it's hours of me just going. 
Okay, now th- and then just stopping because <laughs> <And, and, laughs> oh, I do I do kind yeah. of stammer quite a fair bit, and that's that, that that's fair enough. And sometimes my brain gets twisted and my tongue gets twisted, and I don't mm. find talking easy at all. Like sometimes I have to put in extra effort to actually pronounce words, otherwise it all yeah. sounds like a mumble, and I don't know why that is. Um, so mm. I'm so this is all effort for me right now. Um, so yeah, that's why so we're always so of, exhausted right at the end of a podcast because we have of, to focus on speaking. I had to get good at every other bit of editing because this is the bit that takes the most time. So I had to get good and mm. fast at the rest of it. Otherwise, this yeah. would not be a sustainable career for me. Well, that's, we I, that's what I was feeling about video script writing. Like I, I would just procrastinate mm. videos so much just because I had to write a script, and it's like I would just not. Yeah. It's a big reason why I just didn't make videos for like feel long like, periods of time because I just was like I'm not fucking doing it man i'm not writing a fucking yeah. script you know what i mean like I, yeah. i'm not fucking writing a script it takes too much time and i don't care like let me just <laughs> speak i can just speak it fine no one cares it, like in yeah, this day and true. age when you produce content no one gives a shit if you don't edit anything and i'm good enough to talk that i can have a couple of ums and ahs and flow naturally the people are like oh he's just talking normally he's just talking and i can like have a good yeah, yeah. point so me. it depends on the person, but for me, yeah, the time I show is just an easy choice now. Looking back, of like, yeah, well, of course, that's the best. Just a natural progression, really. It's just yeah, an easy it's, way. it's a, it's it's a just, skill. It just makes things easier. Yeah. It's a gift. It is, it's it a is. gift and a skill because I could just sit here talking for five minutes and stammer so much to the point where it doesn't make sense in any language. <laughs> um, no, I find that I find the biggest procrastination point for me when making content is when I open up Vegas and I've got nothing in the but there's nothing in the project at all. And I look yeah. at that and I go, oh, ah, you know what I mean? Uh, when you're like, you nah. have to come up with an introduction section to the video. Oh, that's like, opening how do I the audio is this? the hard bit as well. Like opening up audio. Yeah. I have I have done that, looked at it and went, fuck this and gone for a nap too many times. Yeah. And come back <laughs> and be like, shit, I've got to do this. I think uh, that's my favourite part. I guess that's, I mean, it's I funny, like, I don't even think about that. My favourite part definitely is the recording I don't like opening with like, a lot of people just open with like an intro and go, hello everybody or whatever. And I'm like, but I don't yeah. want to do that. I like going straight into it. I like diving Same straight here, in because yeah. I think I think if you have like it's a bit insincere in my opinion to have an intro that's the same every single video. Obviously hey guys, outro, it's your boy XXX yeah, exactly. Gamer HD. Exactly. Welcome it's back that. to another video. It's like what you Ex- exactly. It's like that. I don't think that's sincere. I I think it's more sincere to just dive straight in and give people the content they want because on a lot of these videos they're not clicking for you. They might stay for you, but they shouldn't click for you. So you should make yeah. it should make it appealing to people who are more interested in the content on the subject matter to begin with and then have yourself be the marketing throughout but if you if you just open with the same intro it just seems insincere to me i'm not saying it's wrong other people yeah, do it and they do it very well but i don't think that f- it, yeah i don't think that format lends itself very well to me i like i like being more free with what i do i understand with an yeah. outro like there's it's easy to get a routine to plug your shit but i like doing that at the end i don't like, like doing that at the start i don't see a point um, so that that bit I struggle with because I have to come up with something not unique necessarily every time. But if I'm talking about a subject, it's like a hook to get. I have in. to go in. I have to. I have to get in there straight away. I have to start with something yeah. that's relevant to the topic, because um, the the best pl- place to hook viewers is right at the very beginning. If you're straight into the into the subject, it's better than you know just a, a thirty second. Hey guys, it's me yeah. back once again. My frog died. I'm really sad, like, and I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> it's frog time. <laughs> you <laughs> got to bear in mind. Some people, most people, have watched like two ads, and they're already sick of it. Yes. So if you then fucking give them practically another ad at the beginning, they're like, "Fuck this! I'm going somewhere else where they don't mm. give me this bullshit at the beginning." Which is like, why I've on a video, and someone's like, "It's the boy. Welcome back!" And they start plugging their merch. <laughs> Drop a like before I even watch the video. It's like, "Fuck!" Yeah, me, I don't like. Man. I don't. I don't up. like plugging at the start. Um, if I've got a yeah. sponsorship, I'll play it about a minute in, but I'll introduce the mm-hmm. video and so this is what's happening, and then have that play. And then, of course, in these videos, I tend to timestamp them. You can't really timestamp sponsors because they ask you not to, but you can timestamp the segments that aren't the sponsor. So, you know, the chat, let's yeah. say you're doing it in a chapter thing, chapter one, etc., just past it. And so people can see those timestamps, they're like banging, and then, you, you know, it's, it's all good. Um, I, I guess that makes sense that they ask I just, not to because it's like I, people just want to skip by, don't they? I just struggle to come up with that initial sentence sometimes, uh, but once I have yeah. it, I'm like, does that even make sense? And then half the time it's nah, no, it but does. we're going with it anyway. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's that's me with podcasts though. Like when you boys are like, oh, have you done a play for podcast? I'm like, boys, will be fine. Because <laughs> yeah. for me, for me, it's like I just start talking. It's how I do my videos. Like, hey guys, tell you back once again another video. 
I just, if I just start talking, I'm like, I know my brain will find the word. I just will. Mm, I will find mm, the words. Yeah. They will come out of my mouth somehow. <laughs> I've just got to start talking and it'll happen. That's why intros can help me. Because I yeah, know I yeah, just, if I do it, everything's just going to flow afterwards. I don't worry about, I, I don't mean, worry about thinking with, too much necessarily. With the, and especially with, with you boys. Show, you're introducing the show, which people watch for you. So, yes. So it's a little bit different to say a, like a, like, you know, like a, just a s- solitary topic video where you're talking yeah, about cause this Because you're that. right, because when, when I clip them and I put them in individual topics, if you click straight on that in. video, it's straight into it because yes. I've already introed the show. Whereas if you're watching the full video show, then you're going to intro that's me, but you're clicking on the timeout yeah. show for me. That's a different ballgame. Yeah, that's why yeah, I have exactly. that s- a separate, where I have separate the topics for people that are just interested in the content and on the Four Pillars Network, those are people that are fans of me and want me. Yeah. That's that's yeah. what you're gonna get. So that's, and that's a brilliant switch up, isn't it? Yeah, you exactly. Still use the uh, the guitar in the, the intro, don't you? Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have the same oh, Greasy Wheels. Is still I my intro so for the time. Much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I, I I brought it back last year, and everyone was like, "Oh fuck yeah, I love it." I'm like, "I'll never get rid of it again. It will always be <laughs> my so intro good. music." Yeah, it'll always be. It's brilliant. Music. Yes. Um, so when I thought I'm gonna do the Time Light <laughs> show, I'm like, "Well, I'll just do the extended version." So it's like the 30 second version of it. What so what is it from? It's, it was just it's just an Apple it was just like a Final Cut Pro the old editing <laughs> software I used before I was on Premiere yeah. when I was on, and now when it's, I was on Mac and it was and just now it, yeah, yeah it's just synonymous just, with the Tynamite yeah. show now it literally no, like I went to, I went and typed in, if you type in Greasy Wheels onto YouTube and you watch the clip of Greasy Wheels all the comments are like Oh, it just makes you think of Tynamite. Like that's Wait, those are see. all the comments. Just fucking hilarious. Oh. From, like years ago. So if you go oh, to I YouTube, found it. Oh, the classic um, Tynamite intro. When I hear this, I think about my 1935 International Harvester pickup truck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Wheels. Reminds me of the slightly biased porn series. Classic Reminds me of Disney Pixar's cars. <laughs> Tynamite. <laughs> Reminds me of hillbillies going hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so I funny. love that. I love that. There's four pillar community members in the comment section of Greasy Policeman Wheels versus iMovie Fireman. song music. The fast yeah. plane truck, Cars 2. It's an iMovie it. song. That's wild. And I just picked yeah. it for whatever reason. It's just like, because I thought I'd use it for five months. Huh. And now it's like, bow, now, bow, it's like bow, a bow, six bow. year old <laughs> intro song. <laughs> It's so good. It, it's genuinely like, but it's why is it good, George? It's good because it's nostalgic it's and it's synonymous with me now. Yeah, yeah, there like, you go. You've taken it. it. It's yours I've made now. it my own. I, exactly, I believe that. I've I've made it mine. You own it. Yeah, Nobody else I, owns that now. It's yours. There's yeah, nothing it's they true, can do about true. it. They can they can fuck so off. That, that, yeah. If you you could probably just you, at this point you could take down any video that uses it that's not you. That being yeah. said. I feel like said, I think I used him. it. I think I used it as a joke in reference to you. So please don't be too angry with that. <laughs> um, I, okay, I'll let you, I'll let you have it once, but never do it fucking again, or else. I'm <laughs> <do it. laughs> right, okay, do it as long as Tyler doesn't notice. I'm fine. I'm sweet. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Calm. Mm. It'll be good. It's all good. It's We're all good. A, I love, love the intro music. I'll, I'll use it any chance I get for for my stuff, just because it's, <laughs> it's synonymous. So like so I, I forget yeah. the video I did. Where I br- brought it back, but all the comments were like, "Fuck Yo. yes, greasy wheels." Was it not the yeah, like, greasy wheels? Was it not your wheels. first like real history thing? Mm, no, I feel like it was no. last year. I feel like it was the start of last I f- year. I, f- I felt like this when you brought it back. He, no, yeah, no, you're right. Real life history. Sorry, I thought you. Were th- I was thinking of uh, my when I did like the empirical truth videos because that's when I started scripting them. But yeah, no, you're right. Real, first real life history video was. Um, the start of that. Hang on, let me check. Is that? Because I feel like some of the top comments of that. Um, oh my god, yeah, James. Like, oh my god, you did the greasy wheels. I think I just started. Went to heaven. <laughs> the greasy wheels. Uh, the you did greasy the greasy wheels. wheels. All hail the greasy wheels. There we go. We love yeah, the greasy um, wheels. We do. Yeah, it's it's iconic. And I'll, I I'll I go outside and I grease up my wheels just to feel the greasy wheels. That's it. It's brilliant. Oh man, best song ever. I'm, I'm just now imagine looking through my old videos and I've got to that in the car. Yeah, I I wish. <laughs> I and I'm looking back at when I was streaming The Witcher Three. Man, that was a good time playing The Witcher Three for the first time. That was oh, fucking sick. The Witcher fucking Three. That was yeah. so much fun. I'm waiting with bated breath for that fucking um, the re-release for yeah. the next gen or current gen. Yeah, I might Even actually genuinely play Cyberpunk that. Sucks cock, but there you go. 
Because I played The Witcher 3 a bit fast and just sort of like, I just want to get through it. I think I'll play it really slow. Yeah. With, yeah, with do the some really side not, And I won't, some, like, str- I won't stream it. I'll literally just slowly enjoy it and just have a play yeah. through like that. Yeah. It's really nice in The Witcher to like get to a new settlement and you check the notice board, you see if there's any like contracts go in, talk to the people around there and you just yeah. you get so immersed into like you just feel like this monster hunter. Like it sounds so fucking weird. But like when you're it playing The like Witcher Three you immerses just you very well. Yeah. You feel <laughs> it like sounds to me fucking... like it's a good game, George, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah it I is. Really it's a it. brilliant game. It's too good. And like the yeah. fact that it exists hurts. <laughs> the, fact that, the fact that it exists hurts. hurts. Yeah, it's hurts. I can't be playing it at all possible moments. That's <laughs> I just, if I could just play it, nothing, do nothing else the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, just sit there and play The Witcher 3 until the day you die. I'm not having kids. Okay, Fuck yeah, this, The Witcher awful, 3. Actually. Geralt's calling to me. It's my 69th playthrough in the past minute. I want to shag fucking Yennefer for the 50th time. <laughs> fucking hell. Mm. While I age, the game does not. It's a timeless <laughs> classic. It really is, though, to be fair. Watch, in 10 years, people will be looking back on it. It's one of the classics there. It's one of the fucking classics of the gaming industry. Yeah, yeah give it another Kids won't know about The Witcher 3. Oh, no, there will be a time where kids who were born after The Witcher 3 will probably find it and be like, oh, this is The Witcher 3, and then play it. This is that game. It's that, game, is that game, game that everyone that talks about. My granddad was talking about. My granddad was talking about this game back in day. I'm going to give it a go. They give it a go and go, what, oh, is a monster hunter? Wait, hang on. You mean there's not a microtransaction in sight? Yeah, they go, what? This isn't, this isn't fucking Assassin's Creed. Wait, that's the uh, only game that's going to exist in the future. There's not going to be anything left. It's just going to be <laughs> Assassin's Creed's like store page, and that's it. I that's, said, the, that's the only game when you get. I said this on the Tynamite show. Um because yeah. I just recorded it before this show but I had a bit of a rant about Assassin's Creed because I made a tweet the other day and I felt mm-hmm. like I needed to clarify it because I said guys Assassin's Creed's not going to get better stop uh, and, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. and people got mad at me I'm like let me just clarify what I meant by that because there's certain people I'm on your team like James if you're talking about Ubisoft being fucking a terrible company that um, yeah. has not dealt with the problems of last year that, that came out with the internal mm-hmm. investigation talking microtransactions I'm on your team but I'm talking about people like Look at what Assassin's Creed used to be. Look at what it is now. What the fuck happened? They need to fix it. I'm like, no, 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 fuck you. You need to move on and let it go. So yeah, no, I don't think move on to. either. That's I don't who I'm talking to. And that's, yeah, and that's all don't... of you. And I just want you to know that I'm attacking <laughs> you personally. Um, okay. No, but, but what I mean is, what I want to say is like with... Uh, um, this is a year a few short months ago as well, to be fair. I mean, it, I'm just trying to show everyone the light of how good it feels once you let it go, because I've let it go. Yeah. And I feel amazing. Yeah, I feel amazing, and I laugh. It's just like the fact that Darby <laughs> responded saying, what the fuck yeah, is this? Yeah, that was fucking brilliant. Oh, yeah, that was because so that, To me, that, that to me that's a, a continuous vindication for me. Uh, to me, that's a fucking big W. In, in, that's a yeah. big, big win in, in, the, in the Tyler column. Because I'm yeah, like, that's, all, all, that's to all the people that were going, oh, look, fucking even Four Pillars are offending Darby as well. Look, he clearly doesn't like the Four Pillars. It's like, dude, he's on our fucking side, man. Darby's on our team. Don't Make make no fucking mistake about it. <laughs> yeah. Darby's yeah, on no Team Four Pillars, and, and I Darby, know that for a fact. Abu Bakar Salim, he loves it. Well, I, know, I don't think he does. I don't think he gives a fuck about us, but he's certainly not <laughs> yeah. on the other team. I know that for a minute. No, not anymore after they fucking binned him off after Origins. Oh, um, fuck him. I mean, Ash was on our team, but we had to boot him off because he was a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> um, <laughs> weirdo is a fucking... A bit of a weirdo. Fuck. I made an that. emote for my Twitch, actually. It's like a picture of Ash and his side. I used the liquify tool on Photoshop to make his face <laughs> look really fucking weird. Why, what, what, oh, God, why? <laughs> did, you, did you run out of ideas? That's my that's my tier three emote on Twitch. It's just Your Ash tier with like three. a fucking... Yeah, with like some weird face. You're a fucking I weird like that, cunt, George. I, I, what's, I mean, what do you mean? Weird, you, what's what's in your um? <laughs> I want to ask you this because what's in your YouTube recommended this week? I feel like it's become a bit of a topic. It's a bit of a segment oh, what, of this show. Fucking... What's on your YouTube recommended at the moment? Okay, because you went from really... fucking frog videos. We were talking about bees <laughs> last episode. What the fuck's in the oh, YouTube God. recommended at the moment, George? This uh, is like a George original segment. What weird fucking shit? See, I've with been this, watching this weird cunts watching. I've been actually watching, speci- well, a lot of Halo 3 stuff, to be honest, because obviously I made my Halo 3 goodbye video, and just ah. loads of, like, old Halo 3, like, um, sort of clips from, like, 2007, 2010 have been showing up, and it's been yeah. really fucking nostalgic, so it's not, like, weird not animal weird videos, time. or, like, bees from, like, last week, it's just yeah. actual, like, content that I would have watched 10 years ago, or something like that. It's, oh, yeah. wow. It's quite nice. 
nice nostalgia trip. I really like yeah. it. Yeah, you can't beat that. Halo sometimes. 3 montage music with like Green Day in the background and stuff. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> well, that was such an era of YouTube as well, in the early days of YouTube, where people were like, yeah. to, be, to be a montager, like, and to make machinimas... Like, that was oh. a, such a massive thing using Halo 3 and stuff. I like, know. that was a huge era yeah. of YouTube. I remember, like, having friends like, yeah, no, I, I edited this, like, Halo Machinima or this Halo montage. Like, yeah. oh, fuck, that's crazy. And, like, it would just be epic music. Fucking, yeah. I just used the word epic unironically. I want to kill myself. <laughs> um, and then, like, it'd be fucking, like, really cool music like montaging Halo clips and stuff together and then it'd be like these fucking wacky edited by fucking you know yeah. e- epic gamer 73 xx and like the music's like fuck that is breaking Benjamin's playing in the background it's just like what that's my that's the cogs in my brain spinning that's all that is that's me trying to figure out where I can segue into this because obviously obviously before before I made a YouTube account, it was like a joke on April Fool's Day in 2013. I don't mm-hmm. even think oh, I watched yeah. much on the platform. So mm. th- this this is all a bit um, before me. In this that is all sense, new for you. I, well, I, I mean, I knew it happened. I just, I just never sat down and watched it to the point where I'd feel nostalgia going, oh, there's there's yeah. some, th- there's that, that recon armor with um, dubstep playing oh, again. You missed uh, out, man. Halo 3 was the Best. I mean, I played Halo Three. Best. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. I played Halo Three. Oh, it's brilliant. okay. If you play Halo Three, then that's that's all you need for pure happiness for the rest of your life. It's just it is fucking good. It is pure happiness. That one. I uh, I look at it and go, I'm happy now because I'm I'm uh, I can play Halo Three sometimes. Um, <laughs> Honestly, it was making that video. Like uh, there was many times that like, recording. The, f- yeah. the fucking audio for that, where I just I would just choke up like <laughs> yeah, yeah. talking yeah. about oh, it. Oh god, wow. well, what's it called? That what's it, that track? Is it like Unforgotten Memories or? There's one called Never Forget. That's what it's called. Well, there's another one that's like um, it's like it's like a really nostalgic sort of. Uh, I think sentimental's the word I'd use. Is that a Halo track? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that it does. It, you used about, it in your video, it? man. It's that track. It's like oh yes. It's it's a very much so an everyone's dead track. Is it like ah? Oh, uh, what it's game called, is it in? Is it, it in it's, it's, it's Halo Two. It's, you used it in your ah. Halo Three one though. Let me let me find it for you, bro. It's Halo it, two it's there. Track. It's Unforgotten Memories is what it's called. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're very very right. It, that that is that is oh. a sentimental track that screams everyone's dead. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, my <laughs> life. Oh, Why did you put that in the Oh man, fucking love me some Halo. Yeah. I really well, like Halo, George. You, I don't know about you, but I like. I don't know if you realize how much Halo broke my heart. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. everyone yeah. that knows me has listened to me long enough knows how much I hate Halo. There's no game in the world I hate more than Halo Five. There's no game I've ever it's hated really bad. as much as Halo Five. Because I, yeah. Halo was yeah, like Halo Kingdom Hearts and Halo, my two favorite franchises ever. <clears throat> And Halo, I just was like, you can do no wrong. It's never done anything wrong. Like, I was even still a big fan of Halo 4. I still loved it. Like, it wasn't yeah. the best one or anything, but I really enjoyed it. It's was fine. Happy to to this day, I still think Halo 4 is fine. Yeah. Like, uh, not... yeah I never agreed. had anything against Halo 4. Yeah, but, but Halo 5, like, I, like I've never hated a game more. Yeah. <laughs> but but I've, Halo I've, 5 I've really like, was bad. I've pushed it away and pushed it down. I was like, Kingdom Hearts is all I got. And then these mm. other cool big, like, you know, Sony games. Like Horizon. Fucking Horizon, fucking God of War, that shit. <laughs> But, like, in terms of what I think in my childhood, I think Kingdom Hearts, Halo, those are the two I think about the most. Yeah. And Halo, I've just yeah. sort of forgotten about and moved on from, and I haven't played in a long time, but then you put this music in there, man, I want to fucking cry. And I forget, <laughs> like, the emotions I had. Like, how, I, is- I've genuinely, I actually, until right now, listening to this music, I forgot how much I loved Halo. I actually uh, forgot how much track- it meant to me. This track makes me want this to cry. Fucking track! I'm uh, about to fucking cry like that a baby. one makes me want to cry. You know, like and well, I mean, I mean, I yeah. I got up to about hey, I I played all the way up to Halo Four, and then I when Halo Five came around, I didn't have an Xbox One, so I didn't bother. Um, yeah. I just forgot about it. I just forgot about the game completely, um, and I never played it. Um, I recently got an Xbox Series S, and I didn't I didn't flock to play that. Instead, I went back the generation before and started playing the Halo. They're not the Halo games, the Fable games. Um, oh, I start playing Fable. Well. Fable. I'm, I'm, oh, Fable I'm playing through Fable too. So hard. Yeah, and so that's that's, that's another game. Ever since I've got this Series S, um, I have not touched on it a current generation game. I don't think. I mean, I've I'm doing a playthrough on it of Red Dead Two on Twitch, 
But I did Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Fable 3, and Fable 2. And mm-hmm. there you go. And that, that's me so far. Yeah, I can't Classic wait games, to stream man. Yeah, f- the Fable trilogy oh, yeah, um, again um, really soon. Like, this year, I want to I I stream just... the Fable trilogy. But I also, like, this makes me want to fucking play Halo and stream Halo. Like, I want to... Yeah. I just want to, yeah. like... I just, George, can we do some sort of like Twitch stream series where we're hey. playing like Halo multiplayer and shit? Can we do that? I have an idea. I have had an idea for a long time. I want to do the Road to Halo Infinite, and I want to get people involved with Dude, playing the. Can, the can we play Legendary? Legendary? Yeah, fucking yeah, yes. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Let's fucking yeah. do it. Like, go let's do it. Like one, and... pick a time once a week. We stream yeah. Halo. For hours, it's so fun, yeah, it's <laughs> so fun. fun, and we can do like community, like like uh, Slayer and stuff as well, and like just play with play with. Uh, well, this is a James perfect. Or ben or this is a perfect like four pillars network video to do. Also, the four pillars play Halo. Yes, we can do like four. Oh yeah, like yeah. three for all four of us play just you know um, individual solo sick. Slayer. Um, yeah. as well. Yes, um, that'd be oh, fucking, fucking fun. Fucking, I want fun. any excuse to play Halo. Yeah, fuck, I love it so much. Fuck yeah, um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that that'd be fun, amazing. Yeah. I, so that'd I, be really good. I don't have a Series X or Series X. I have an Xbox One, but I do have a PC. Can I I'd play? imagine cross there'll be platform. some cross compa- like yeah, compatibility with uh, the Series yeah. X and S. Yeah. And the cross one, so... Because I'm, not, the, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll ever get the Series X, because I, I reckon I'll just like get an Xbox controller for the yeah. for the um, PC, and then I mean, yeah, just, and just play everything on the PC. I never planned on getting a Series X, but I saw the Series S come in and stock on Amazon and went, I don't have a Might means to well. play Red Dead 1 or the Fable games. That's, a, so, yeah, okay. that's true. Well, I have, so yeah, I'm going to do I this. Yeah, you know? I guess that's why I still have the Xbox One. But I haven't turned, I don't even have a controller. I lent the controller to someone, so I haven't even touched the Xbox One in six months. Blind. I've only, yeah, that's I've, the same since, for me. Like, since I, the, I got I'm, the PS5, I've only played the PS5. I booted my Xbox One up the other day to get some gameplay, and it was the first time since I think August last year. It's so, like my PS5, and I pretty much switched to PlayStation like halfway through last year, and never really looked back. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's just sort of what happens. Um, I'm just gonna yeah. this whole so podcast. To I'm gonna have Halo music just playing in my headphones. <laughs> in the background. You're there. Yeah, that, you, that, you, you are trying to make music you're, you're trying to make yourself feel sad. Um, we need to. We need to get some. Do you, do you reckon we should get like a montage of puppies as as it happens? Yeah, because oh, yeah, nice that's little happy happy dogs running how, about in a field. How incredible <laughs> have three four three been for all they've done wrong? How incredible have they been with the Master Chief Collection? That thing was a pile yeah, of shit yeah. when it released. It was a piece of shit. Like it was, you couldn't play multiplayer. You literally couldn't it find was, a match. It was so the servers bad. were fucked. The campaigns were like it was just it was cool to play the campaigns. That's about it. But they have yeah. worked so hard. On the Master Village, putting ODST Halo Reach in there, updating it constantly. Oh. It is the perfect Halo experience. The Halo Master Chief Collection is perfection. It's, it's perfection. So good. And there's no it's, fucking Halo Five in one, it. Except one, one, one uh, thing I problem I have with it is they added weird fucking Halo Four armor to Halo Three, which I'm not a big fan of. Wait, um, what? Halo Four? Yeah, the multiplayer or the update. campaign? They released a massive update for Halo 3, and they Isn't put... Isn't the Halo um, 4 just full of weird armor and shit? Like, yeah, it's course. when they change the art style, and it's just not practical armor, and it really doesn't fit with the sort of art style of Halo 3. It looks really odd. Are you talking about um, the campaign actually, or the multiplayer? No, 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 the, the multiplayer. Yeah, so okay. armor from Halo 4 was added in. And oh. Master Chief weird. getting about looking like an <clears throat> operator. That would have been weird. There is a really good video that I recommend watching. It's this guy. His channel's called The Art of Halo. And he redesigned all of the armors that rattled into Halo 3 to the Halo 3 art style, and they look so good. And I would love for 343 to add them in. Obviously, they probably never will, but they look so good for the Halo 3 art style. It looks amazing. Like, you know, the horn helmet from Halo 4, he like redesigned that to fit with Halo the, 3's art style. Is that, it looks, I oh, forget what that one's called. That, the uh, horn helmet. I don't remember. Yeah, it's one with a big horn on the front, and it's like a weird shape. It's, it's like, like a he, Vanguard he armor, isn't it? Something like that. I don't Something really like that. what it's called. I'm George remembering had... the really weird one that's just like a big block, and that's the Hazup, I think. And that one looked. Oh weird. god, there was that one with like the three dots, like the three circles. It's like, how is that even a fucking? Oh yeah, because uh, you have the three Halo eyes. Four's armor is the, the, operator, the way the, the way they updated all, all the just even the Halo Master Collection like um, main menu screens. Like yeah. each update, like the the Halo Reach update, where there's just this fucking crazy view of all the helmets just sitting there with like, like yeah. oh man, it's emotional. Like 
having Reach back in there, when they had a Reach, it's like unbelievable. It's like, let's it's, just it's honestly put in the, the perfect best game. Halo experience, yeah. It's the best game in the Master Chief collection to play. It's got all it's got all the firefight, it's got the amazing campaign playlist, it's got custom games playlist, it's got like fucking I haven't played Reach in so many years. Because I've never oh, played Reach it when they so added good. it. I just I remember downloading the update but I never actually played Reach again. Like Reach, Reach is fantastic. Reach is I j- like Reach is a special, special game. It's not my favorite Halo or anything, but it's it's a special game and it was a special It time. was Bungie's goodbye. To it fans. And it, it, it was, was Oh the 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 fucking soundtrack to reach holy fuck it's it's, it's just there's a, it's a time because it was like you thought halo was sort of over and it was this like a yeah. new era this new perspective of halo that it gave but it really fed into everything that came before it so beautifully it yeah. was it was it was it was just a beautiful era in time a big transition period in the video games industry a big transition well, period in what was popular gaming yeah it was like halo was on top halo was king it was the king the it was day. the king of video games yeah it was the ki- oh, it was Call of man. Duty at this time and Halo. They were the two kings of video games. Yeah, I always preferred Halo. I like Agreed. COD. Don't 100%. get me wrong, but I always Halo. preferred I've never been into COD. Up Halo. I yeah. have never, yeah, I've never been into amazing. it. Like, sorry, uh, I, whenever I look, like every single um, year or whenever, however often COD games get announced these days, people will always come to my stream to be like, "Are you going to play the new COD?" And I just go, "No, not really." No, uh, I have never done it. I've never, I've never really sat down and gone, "Right, I want to, I want to play all, through all the uh, Call of Duty games and stuff," or I, I yeah. never want to play through them uh, because I'm just not, I'm just not interested in. The, c- the COD. one thing I'll give COD is like I don't care about the COD multiplayer since like Modern Warfare Two. Like some I, of I'd the love... COD I've Four, Five, some... and Six, I was a fan of. But the, the, old... the thing I, I like about the CODs, the campaigns are fucking pretty sick in most of them. I've, I've, I, yeah, except for like I, Infinite Warfare. I, I've never played any of those games. Like the last COD I played was Black Ops One, and then the next COD I played after that was the reboot of Modern Warfare. What a year ago, two years ago. Then everyone said I need to play that, so I gave that a shot and I streamed. Oh, Modern Veteran. Warfare 2019. Yeah, I that liked one. That game a so lot. that was the. But, so there was ten years of COD I didn't play. So I, I missed, you missed out on yeah. Black Ops Two, to be fair. I never Black Ops 2 I, had a really never, good story. I never played sure any the of those stories, games, but what I'm I've sure the... always enjoyed was the campaigns. I think Modern Warfare Three I never played because I, I when I watched a walkthrough, found out Soap died, and I was like, "Fuck you, I'm not playing that bullshit." I was, like, <laughs> I was just fucking out. I was so pissed off. Hey, spoilers for the franchise! I'll likely never play. Yeah, people are going to be commenting <laughs> down like, "Oh, you fucking spoiled Modern Warfare 3 <laughs> When did that come right, out? Twenty ten. I mean, I have uh, I have played bits of COD games here and there, and I can't really. I don't, I don't, as far as the multiplayer is concerned, it's not really something that necessarily appeals to me. As for the single player stuff, um, from what I've played, it's like, you know, it's, it's okay in that respect, but I wouldn't say that I've ever looked at a COG game and gone, wow, I need, I need to grip this. I look at it and I go, that's another COG game, you know? Um, yeah, the it's, biggest, it's my biggest gripe actually series. at the moment is nothing to do with the actual game itself, but rather how much space it would waste if I installed it. And so I'm like, yeah. oh, that's a games. problem. That is a fucking problem. Have you seen the size of this game? Games the entirety. Was 250 gig by the, the end of its isn't run. There, it was fucking stupid. Which one like is that. it that? Which one is it that now can't fit on the hard drive of the base PS4? It's probably might be the new one, the Cold War. It might be that one. I haven't played that one because it's kind and, of shit. But well, I have played let, it, but I just trying to stop playing it. Let's have a look. Cold War download size. Let's have a look. Um, I need to have a look. See how much, uh, how many gigabytes? Ninety-five gigabytes. Oh, it must be I'll... Modern Warfare then. It must be Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern War is it not Warzone? Uh, the well, I guess Warzone is a separate thing. I want, I want to see. I don't know. It might be that though. Because um, the reason why Modern Warfare was so big is because it was all the multiplayer updates they added in and maps and guns and stuff, and it sort of just. They, I don't know what they did, but it was just really big. Yeah, Let well, me see. what they did was... Yeah, it's 250 like, gig. Fucking hell! Jesus! Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, blimey! Yeah. It's a good game. Like, I think called uh, Modern Warfare 2019, I played a stupid amount of hours on. I got like the, all the camos in that game and played the multiplayer to fuck. It was great, but... Why the fuck it's 250 gig? I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know why. It just nah, is. It, it's just, it, no, yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, that's me. No, I'm not doing, doing it. it. Um, it doesn't matter yeah. what the conversation is, Tyler, I'm not doing it. Have you guys, this, I've got a bit of a thing, if we're talking about YouTube recommended thing, to pull it back, but this is with the Halo yep. and COD conversations. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. In terms of music, <clears throat> something I've been doing a lot recently in the last maybe six months to a year is just on my YouTube recommended like compilations of soundtracks with like rain and thunder ambience. Like it's like Lord yeah. of the Rings ambient music. And I've just found a beautiful Halo ambient music track. And it's like one I hour, think... two hour videos. Some of them like, I mostly, it's mostly Lord of the Rings for me. I'll find like Lord of the Rings, like Grey Havens ambient music, Hobbiton yeah. ambient music. And it's just like people put yeah. like rain in the background, like peaceful night ones and you hear like just like little crickets really nice ambient sounds mm. with like soundtrack mm. music it's fuck i sleep to that shit it's fucking i love the Halo Wood oh, est yeah. soundtrack with rain in the background that's, that's oh really yeah nice. that's so, yeah that's a fucking um put you in there there are some there are some ambient soundtracks from the elder scrolls that work really good for that from like morrowind yeah. and oblivion and sky yeah, yeah. sky um, for sure yeah uh, anything with uh anything with good ambient soundtrack will do quite well there yeah. Like the Witcher uh, Three, like the Velen soundtrack of ones, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Velen, well, like Horizon uh, Zero Song, Dawn, Meridian, Skellige, music. Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. as well. Wow. And there's so yeah. there's so many to choose from with that. In that Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft soundtrack is amazing. Minecraft soundtrack like, gives me a headache. Like I'm sure it's great. I, I'd honestly say gives it's me one a headache. Of my favorite soundtracks ever. It hurts like, my head. Like, it, it pierces yeah, my very soul. S- seven years old, so that's. <laughs> fuck off <laughs> Minecraft is for it, men it is not, I have to mute the soundtrack whenever I play it because the soundtrack literally pierces my soul and gives me the biggest headache ever and I'm like, that's I a stop. shame you just turn it down a little bit <laughs> I turn it down all the way and then listen to nothing else I listen to the rain in the game oh. like oh yes pain I love that's the soundtrack me. in Minecraft like, nothing, just, nothing against the, the soundtrack really I'm sure good. it's your thing but it's just a combination of noises to me that physically hurts, and I can't explain why. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it genuinely does. Like I don't dislike it the soundtrack the instruments much. they use. It just doesn't resonate with you very well. I, it, it doesn't fucking. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not my kind of vibe, but I like. I don't dislike it. It just hurts. It just <laughs> hurts you. That's fucking so weird. <laughs> it is weird, but it's how it is. It gives me a headache. I, I sit there, uh, my eyes dry up, and I start yawning. And I get a massive headache and go right. I have to die now, and I turn off <laughs> Minecraft. And that's a that's oh, a thing God. that I suffered from a lot as a kid. Everyone's playing Minecraft, and I'm there like, the soundtrack wants me dead, please. I uh, can never turn the music off when I'm playing Minecraft, unless I'm on like Discord <laughs> and we're like listening to. If music, we're talking like, about the, the uh, you have like a jukebox you can make in Minecraft, and you slap that in. Yeah, that that's more. The, that's more my tunes speed. in. That's yeah. more my <laughs> speed. I, I rave to that shit. I I, I sit yeah. there and rave. Um, you know C418. It's a great band. Yeah, yeah, brilliant band. Oh you, you might not know them. They're pretty niche. I discovered them one day. Oh, brilliant. Anyway. Anyway. I, I did want to talk right. to you guys about something um, as well. Go because on. there was a lot of fucking chaos on Twitter last week. And I'm like, oh. I really need to talk about this, I feel like. What's the chaos? Well, all the chaos that went on with fucking... I mean, I didn't really know what the fuck was going on, but apparently we're getting lots of hate. Um, Are we? Oh, yeah. Twitter. I didn't really know about that. I didn't really know about that. Are we getting hate? Yeah, you, Ethan, you fucking know about this. This is it was probably just so long ago. It feels like so long ago. Let me. Find... Oh, was it? Oh, was it when everyone started <clears throat> sharing those positive messages? Because I saw yeah. those. I remember yeah. seeing a couple of tweets, but I didn't yeah, I saw those people any... going, "This is the best community ever," and that's like holding some shit. But I don't know why people were I doing didn't... it. I, I think I know roughly what was going on, but I think it was only a couple of tweets, and I think it was blown up as like a pushback of like you can't you can't knock us sort of thing. But beyond that, I don't really I didn't really put much thought into it. I the, how, when was this? What date? Um, Let me find it now. Because I'm looking back a week, and I'm just finding the the time I opened Amazon to find a like a like a life sized cardboard cutout of Pope Francis, and <laughs> that's about. Oh, oh, hang on. That's this brilliant. is this is one that I found. I found the post on Instagram where it's fishy lasers, dynamite, long eared fox, and rule stare. We're just we're just these random blokes staring at Marilyn Monroe's boobs. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. And and and, and, and in the comments, someone was going. It is the best, but this dude's except Tyner, might sharing pure hatred and toxicity in the AC community. Instead of taking responsibility, they prefer crying. And I do remember responding with, Mate, Everyone with except we'd me, rather talk it? about I literally find that so anything fucking else. fucking weird. Um, I, don't, I don't understand that as <laughs> soon as down. you criticise something, people go, stop crying. It's like, I'm not fucking crying, dude. I'm just criticising. I was crying at the Halo You're music, the not crying. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was crying while booting up Halo 3 on the Xbox 360 for the first time in like 12 years. Right, not fucking uh, Assassin's Creed's microtransactions. That pisses me off more. Than I anything. love. It doesn't make me want to. I love the response to this as well. They are a bit too fanatic. Yeah, but that does not make them wrong. Fanatic. I fanatic. 
I got called an ex- I got called an extremist conservative of Assassin's Creed the other day as well. <laughs> extremist conservative, there's political alliances as, as Assassin's Creed fans. Well, that's how the Assassin's Creed community take extremist. the fucking series. You They're are like, extremist. oh, this is oh, fuck me, man. I, I don't. What understand do you mean extremist? It's so weird. You say yeah. one thing about the game when you. Oh uh, no, the I have I have one response hate. to Assassin's Creed beef. I can't respond to it other. Like, if I see someone trying to start beef, I'll respond with that distorted picture of me. Um, let me yeah, honestly, I just start sending, like, Amogus images and stuff. But it was, it was also <laughs> James's DMs. I guess it's, it's oh. hard to talk about it without James being oh, here. Yeah. But it was that, oh, yeah. that shit, you know, the D- DM thing. And pe- oh, that, yeah, then people really start but James, Because on. James did it, it's wrong. It was like some message from some dude saying, oh, you think that fucking That's the image I respond got Isu to DNA? Oh, what Isu do you think gave him DNA? And it's like, James has no obligation to reply to that. And, and, and if he wants to, yeah, he can put it, he can put an anonymous screenshot on his exactly. timeline. Exactly. One, it's it. anonymous. It okay, Two, we, Ethan and I both also got that same DM. It wasn't something... Yeah, yeah so did I as well. to, I, I want to well. talk to James about that he was DMing all of us and I just ignored it. Exactly. I, He's not, I, it's not him trying to start a conversation with James. It's him trying to get one of us to speak to him about Assassin's Creed that we don't fucking care about. Yeah. Well, you care about it, George. <sighs> well, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. I, I do. See, Let's be honest I with mean, ourselves. I... With, with this one, I look at it and I go, I don't understand where James went wrong there. Like, the only reason anyone's kicking up stink is because it's James doing it. Like, because if I did yeah. that, if I did that exact thing, nobody would say anything. Nobody say a you thing. Have a, a, it is a just because it's changed. series dedicated to taking the piss out of funny comments. Out of comments, yeah. No, I, I have a series dedicated to taking the piss out of comments, which I don't blur out. I yeah, leave exactly. the name and That's the profile not even picture anonymous. up there. It's not anonymous. You flame they commented them publicly. It, they commented it publicly. <laughs> well, so exactly. they're flaming themselves in reality. But at the end of the day, having a platform does not does not mean you need to be a perfect human being. Um, exactly. I'm not. I'm not saying it's an ideal move to to take the piss out of a DM publicly, but that being said, it's still within James's right to have a laugh about because it's not that deep. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not him going. Look at this fucking idiot. This fucking yeah. useless human. It's oh, going, it's like Assassin's this Creed. This kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's that. It's like it's so absurd because you know that if this was coming from anyone that wasn't James, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, no, it's ge- people. People are like. It's like when you look back at when Colin Moriarty was it kind of funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and when when the all the tweet stuff happened, all the controversy happened with the, the International Women's Day bullshit, it wasn't... If anyone else had made the same tweet, no one would have cared. It was because Colin made it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And James is, is unfortunately in that position with yeah. the way people view him. Um, that if James says something, they will... Like, I could say the same thing and they would not have taken it that way. People would not have taken it. Maybe one or two on. people would have, but m- m- I wouldn't have been piled on. I wouldn't have been, a, like, you know, a bunch of people would have jumped on and be like, fuck you, Tyler, fuck you. And then you, you would have gone, I, mean? I don't care. Because I, I, also, people, I don't think people really waste their time trying to be angry at me for doing things. I don't think... Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't respond. I don't even, Because I, don't, yeah. I won't even see it. Like I don't check yeah, true. notifications. You know what I mean? Like I doing things in real life. <laughs> I tweet something and then I fucking walk away. I... And most of the time, like I, for example, that that tweet I made about um, guys, Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed is not going to get better stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, unfortunately, a tweet like that gets enough traction that it starts hitting people that don't follow me, and it starts hitting the general Assassin's Creed fandom, yeah. and then I I mute the tweet. Yeah, I just so, mute the tweet because I don't. Well give a fuck about having a conversation about this. I didn't tweet it to have a conversation. I tweeted it to make a statement. And if people want to have a... If other people want to have a conversation in it, I'm 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 not going to, like, mute the replies in the sense of, like, only people I mentioned can reply to us. People want to reply, they can reply, but what you're going to do is have a discussion with other people that replied. You're not actually going to have a discussion with me because I'm not interested. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Not on on a tweet like that. Some tweets I want a discussion, but that's not a tweet I'm up for a discussion. That's a tweet I made a statement. That's an opinion. There are some some favourable responses for you there. To be fair, yeah, of course there <laughs> there are loads. Of there, of course there are. Of course there are. But uh, but I noticed tonight, like in the last few hours, it's just past the point of it's no longer my followers now. And then yeah. it all of a sudden became other fucking you know sometimes R worded people. Sometimes like, just, that happens. Just joining the conversation. I I do my I don't know. Sometimes sometimes a tweet of mine will just go off, <laughs> um, and I don't understand why they do go off because half of them is just bollocks. 
Um, <laughs> like one of like people seem to want to discuss. Um, you see, you saw the other day Ubisoft. Po- well, not I think there was a leaked outfit from Valhalla, which is just a, like a modern day outfit where he's got a he's got a bayoneted rifle from, from like, yeah, he's got an M1 <sighs> Grand for some enemy. reason, which is brilliant. I think it's funny. I don't care. Um, I I just laughed. I I just I just tweeted ha ha ha, and. And if I look, I like that. I look down, and there's some. There are some actual people trying to trying to engage that. And I'm like, it's just funny. It's like there's nothing to say about that. I I don't it's care. It's not really. It's not the issue I necessarily take anymore because it's not an issue I see being fixed. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. going to be there regardless. With the James so I situation, think it's funny. though, I think people have these this weird like view of James that he's just like mm. fucking weird narcissist, and it's like it's not that at all. It's not. It's like people watch a few videos of James being like sarcastic and like joking about they a game they like, and they immediately assume that he's this fucking evil guy who's out to fucking. I don't know. I don't even know what they think his plan is. It's like he's not a bad dude. He's just, he's just a normal bloke. If anything, he's he quite just dislikes. Really. A, he dislikes the direction of a game series that you like. It's like <laughs> stop trying to psychoanalyze the dude from watching his fucking content. You <laughs> People don't know him. It's so weird. People psychoanalyze all the time. Do you, know, it's fucking do you feel like you notice that as his brother? You is that why you feel that way? Like what? What yeah, makes you feel that that's really how people... strange? It's just like. People, I've I've seen it before though, with people going like people were like um, commenting like oh, I've noticed the way he acts towards his fans. He's really narcissistic and really up himself, and it's like he's definitely not like uh, no, no, oh my god, not at I've, all. I've 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 met a lot of narcissists in my time, and James couldn't be further. No, I promise literally, you that. yeah. Literally. If you're not personal, it's just he's he's someone that genuinely just is unapologetically himself. Yeah. yeah, you know, and what that's I mean? not a narcissist. And, and, that's a good no, thing, I think. No, and it's also you, to be in this creative space and be public. You can't fucking take on what everyone else says. Yeah, you can't be that person, and, and everyone deals with it differently. And James will want to be it to be a part of his life, and then there's other times he's not going to, and he's gonna just be honest with his fans. The way he deals with it is always being honest. Yeah, yeah with himself, whether he's right or wrong. He's just transparent. He doesn't. He's not apolog- going to apologize to. You. He's not going to pander to a fan. He, he doesn't because he doesn't see people as fans. He's like, I'm just going to create people who watch me will watch me, and I'm just going to be me to everyone. And if yeah. you think I'm an asshole, you can think I'm an asshole, but that's just me. It's not me talking to a fan because I don't see you that way. But the thing Whereas is, everyone as well, else is like, dude, he's talking to his fans this way. James doesn't have fans to James. If, James doesn't if that have guy fans messaged to his own James head. like directly and said like that hurt my feelings or whatever. He would have apologized. I know that for a fact. He would have said, yeah. you know, that wasn't my intention at all. I thought it was just funny. I'll take the tweet down. But the dude didn't say anything. Because he's obviously not. A f- Everyone thought it was like a child as well for some uh, that's reason. What I, 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 I laughed at that. That's why. That's what I responded with. I'm just like, why the fuck's everyone assuming James is at a six year old's house knocking on their <laughs> <Yeah>. door, <laughs> yeah. filming it live like, well, you on a fucking you? Instagram live? You're Speaking, a fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking, yeah. Like, it what's, make any sense. It's an anonymous anonymous Instagram message from who it could be a fucking forty year old pedophile. You don't fucking know. Exactly. You, you know what know. I mean? Like but everyone's like, No, it could have been a kid though. I Fuck mean, it could have been it could have been your account. fucking mum, mate. Who yeah, fucking well. cares though? It doesn't make a difference to me. Go yeah, fuck yourself. Like, and and the difference are the difference is like you're saying, everyone psychoanalyzes everyone else. You are who we are, everyone is who they are in their own fucking heads. Yeah. I'm not who you think I am. Yeah. I'm not who even my friends think I am. I am who I am in my own head. I have my own insecurities. I have my own thoughts about myself. If you're a self-aware like person, you can have a bit more of a balanced perspective on yourself and the way the world sees you and sort of compartmentalize those worlds together in a very healthy way. Yeah. I like to think that's how I live. That's why yeah. I... My choice is to step away when I create. My choice yeah. is to step away and not participate excessively into this space as mm-hmm. a person because I just don't take on board people's opinions of me and and that includes the good and the bad and the way james sees himself he does not see himself as a person that has fans so there's no no, you can't like analyze and be like man he talks to his fans this way james in his own head has zero fans he doesn't see you as fans he sees you as community members people that are like teammates with him in his content whether you like him or not whether you agree with him or not that's how he works in this space. It's like more viewers. It's not fans. I think fan is a very... But it's a very... It's, it's a, almost a very arrogant thing to call yeah, people well, that watch it's, your videos in a sense. It's an egotistical word when, you, when people, more often than not, are watching for the subject rather than the person. But, but, it all, yeah. but it not necessarily. It all depends on how you treat that, that responsibility. Yeah. If James saw his audience as fans and then talked to them the way he talked to them, he's a narcissist. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I mean? But he doesn't see the audience that way. He's talking to people, giving him shit or being nice to them just because he thinks that's what they deserve as people and that's how he would want to be talked to if they were acting that way because he just sees everyone as level playing fields to him. He doesn't think he's above anyone. He just yeah. doesn't. I know yeah. that for a fucking fact. Yeah, and for, and for, for me, the way... I've, I, I can only speak for myself... And I and I know James pretty fucking well and worked with him long enough that I feel like I can speak yeah. a bit about James. But for myself, it's mine's changed over the years, and I'm at a point now where I think I see now more than ever my roles, especially in our community. I don't really fucking give a fuck about the <laughs> the the extended audience that kind of jump in for a subject. I don't give a fuck. Like yeah, you're no. not here for me, so whatever. Like if you like what I'm doing, whatever, cool. But when I look at the community and my role in it, I I I think I take what I do more seriously now than I ever have yeah. because I realize that my age and the age of the audience that consumers, I know the type of personality I am that's very different to the audience that may be consumers. And I know a lot of people fucking look up to me in some ways, which is wild. Yeah. But I also, <laughs> I think I take it a bit more seriously in that way and I try to step back from it because I don't want to... Um, I guess I don't want it to get to my head ever. Yeah, I, yeah. because I actually want to take it on board. Yeah, exactly. You're right, Ethan. Because sometimes you've got to compartmentalize. If you let it consume your life, that you're this, you're this messiah to people or, or whatever. Then that's what you start to think. Um, and and Disney so I think quote. I take a very, I think I take a very good, um, uh, a, a very similar sort of stance where it's like I don't see viewers as fans. No matter how yeah. much, how much like, I don't like when people say, "Oh, I'm a big fan of your work." I'm like, "Cheers for the support, gamer." And if they say, "Oh, you helped me through this, 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 and that," it's like, "No, you did that. You you helped you through that." Yeah, that's, that's true. You sort out the um, content. And if, so you know, I just, I just, I just give you, I just give you a distraction. That's that's different. But yeah, you help exactly. yourself. If you feel better now than you did a few months ago, you're you're the winner here. It's nothing. You it's pulled nothing yourself out of that. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's what I like. It wasn't to, us that's speaking to him directly. Um, yeah, that's I, actually a really nice thing. That's a really nice way I, to put it, actually. I couldn't do the content I do. You know the comments videos? I couldn't look at those comments and have a laugh at them mm, if I felt myself above people because when you think you're above people, you start to... I guess you start you, you start, start to, to take on, on responsibilities of looking down on people. It becomes punching down just to, just to yeah. even laugh at people's expense when they say something dumb to you. No, it's, yeah. it, it's give and take. You say something dumb to me, I'll say something back. If I if I feel it's funny enough, if it's not, I'm not going to say anything. If it's really yeah. absurd, I'm going to put it on Twitter and then say something because I think it's funny. Yeah. But I don't. I've never <laughs> taken a comment too seriously uh, because I don't. I don't care. Like you know, at the end of the day, y- you're using an alias online, probably not even your real profile picture. And when it is someone who's actually using their real name and face, they're always posting hate comments. They don't give a fuck either. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So it, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, it's- yeah, you're, you're but 100% if it's a, right. If it's a nameless, faceless person online saying something funny, I'm not humiliating anybody. I'm just saying this is a funny comment, and and in return, it's like I put I'll put my face in front of it and uh, and I'll say something funny in response. And sometimes sometimes I can get it wrong too. But yeah, it's like everyone I'm has a role fan. to play. Though everyone has an I, absolute I don't role think to play. A, yeah, George, we don't need to no talk about that fucking weird cunt. That's fucking. Weird. There's no hierarchy <laughs> in it. It's just it's. It's just Disaster. you give me shit, I give you shit, and that's how we roll. Uh, you know, but, yeah. but like it's all—it's what you were saying when it comes to like it, it's not fans. It's like you're a viewer, but that's exactly you're playing a role, and you're just playing the role of content creator. One's not above the other; they feed each other, and that's all it is. Yeah. The only thing I I take seriously is our inner community that are like on the Discord. In as always, really a part of the Four Pillars Network that interact with us all the time. The, and those are people like I I know them I can chat to them on chat rooms and the discord and all that yeah. sort of stuff like when people say things like they look up to me or they're inspired by me like all this thing, I take that fucking seriously and yeah. that to me and I take it seriously in the sense of I'm not going to then live my life here because I enjoy that feedback and I love to hear it because I don't love it's not any like I just I take that and I hear it and I go but why? It's because I'm living my life the way I live it. So the way I repay that comment is by, by continuing to do what I do. Is never change. Yourself. That's, yeah, that's always the be myself. Because if you're an inspiration for being yourself, then the, then the, the best that's way to win. continue um, to, to, to be the best role model you can possibly be is to not let it go to your head and yeah. put it from your mind and just continue being yourself. Uh, yeah. You change yourself yeah. where you have to. Everyone's always making improvements, you know. We're never perfect, um, but y- you just have to make peace with that. And when people 
people come to you and be like, right, you, you, you know, you're a bit of a role model to me. It's like, well, um, sometimes if it's somebody I don't necessarily remember speaking to at all, I I advise against that. I'm not. I, I, I go. I go. I I appreciate it, but I wouldn't recommend looking up to me um, necessarily from that perspective mm, uh, yeah. because because you you don't know much about me necessarily. You, yeah, you don't know. Like, you, there, I could yeah. be I I could be grooming six kids right now. You never know. Jesus I mean, I fucking hope you know. Because <laughs> <I fucking hope. laughs> I'll come over here and I'll beat the fuck out of you. The if thing I is, that, that is out. a good point because there's so many YouTubers that I've looked up to in the past, and it turns yeah. out that they've done some fucked up shit. There's no like, world that's why you don't look up to people that you don't directly know or have a relationship. There is no world in which I ever cost. I I, I, I 100% get what you're saying because I always advise people to not like look up to people you you don't know. It's for all you know. I guess I I guess I guess when it's our inner community and people I do talk to, I'm okay. I know I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like if you want to look up to me, I know it's pretty fucking safe. I play it from the safe safe. perspective. If you don't know me, uh, I don't recommend that because if people say they're you know that they see me as that role model and they don't know me necessarily, there's a very good chance that there are others that they're looking up to too. And yeah, not right. all not all of them are going to be as as I don't I can't speak for their minds I can speak for my mind I, and and I would advise that you that you don't take that too seriously either because you don't you can't you don't have a window into my brain um, so and yeah. you don't have a window into anyone um, like anyone you deem a role model as like a creator thing as a brain and you've just got to be careful um, not to not to um, not to get too wrapped up in being somebody somebody's role models being somebody's yeah. um fortunately yeah, i'm mental so people know keep the distance on that front <laughs> most of the time yeah don't but deify people it actually inspires me people. though like it actually like that stuff fuels me but it fuels me to to continue to be me and the, yeah, the no, reason same. people would say that like i i take that on board as like a, like i appreciate that you said that like all i all it i want to do the way i see myself in the community like in a in a community, the four pillars community. Is, oh, in a, in a community is is, yeah, is, no, is well in a community, but as much as I can when I'm on on a public space on these podcasts anywhere. Like the way I see myself now is different to the way I saw myself if, even two years ago. Like of what my role is here now, and I and to me it's just like all I want to be is the best example I can be. Yeah. And if anyone takes anything away from that, I, I appreciate that, and that inspires me to continue. Like I'm just trying my best. I'll always just try to do my best. Um, yeah, I just want to like, be like a, a kind person. human being. I That's just want to like, cultivate I, I like a, a, being a nice loving community. Uh, I like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know I, what I want to do for the, like everyone you know, when you're a kid. Oh, what do you want to do when you grow up? Fucking, I tell you what, I'm t- I'm 25, almost 26. I don't fucking know. And I, <laughs> or, I thought I did all my life, and I know all I know in, in from my life experience is that it's going to change for everyone all the fucking time. And mm-hmm. you're not going to want to do the same thing forever, and you'll continue yep. to try new shit your whole life, and that's exciting. So I'm not, I'm no longer in my life stressing about, oh, what do I want to do? All I give a fuck about is always knowing who I want to be. I just yeah. want to be a good man. I just want to be a good man. That's all I care about. Yeah. And if I can translate that on here for anyone, and like when I think about it, like it matters to me, you know, helping people with one entertainment, one distraction. Help them help themselves, you know. Yeah. Have a be a, an ear to listen to sometimes for people. Be a voice to talk people through things sometimes, and yeah. just be someone that I because I know I can be a positive influence because I know myself and I know like hey look I'm not a fucking bad dude. I don't yeah. have fucking de- I don't have demons in my closet. Mm. I look after my health mentally and physically. Like I I you know try to look after my friends and my family. I try to be a good person and I try to set a good example everyone fucks yep. up I fuck up you will fuck up no one's ever going to make that excuse that they mm-hmm. don't but it's, we're always just I, I know that I'll always try my best and I that's why I love you boys because I know you're, you're all on the same page and we're all different yeah, exactly. we're all different personalities we all have different worldviews, but we're all good guys trying to do our best yeah exactly and so, that's yeah. that's sort of like the, the DNA of the community I think is the, there? There is a lot of people in the community have that same outlook where they just want to be good people, and I think I'm so proud of that that we've been able to cultivate it with so many good people as a part of the community. It's just fucking brilliant. Yeah, and 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 if you, and if you're a piece of shit, you don't last fucking long in the four pillars community. You just don't. oh, you we don't. Will yeah, you really weed don't. You out. We will weed yeah. you the fuck out, <laughs> and you'll be outed, and you're fucked. Like don't yeah, yeah. you know? If you're a weird cunt, we will find out. 
you know there's there's some people that have been a part of the community some of them for years and when we and when they show their true colors they're fucking out i don't care how long you've been around i don't care if i fucking met you in person if you're a fucking weird cunt and we find out you're out like you know what i mean like yeah it's just what it is with where we try to create a positive space for people of all ideas all backgrounds all cultures from all over the world and i've met and 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 gotten to know some amazing fucking people from all over the world, all corners of the world that is trying yeah. to be good people, and mm. and it's fucking weird, like being going into the, as always on the Discord or any chat, and it's fucking like I feel like I feel like such an old fucking man, but it's just <laughs> like, but people are like going through these life cycles that I went through five to you know five to ten years ago, yeah, yeah, and they're now experiencing mm. these things, and they want to come to me to to. Because they never were gone through any of these things when they started listening to me, yeah. and now and now they they ask me these questions and they come to me with advice. These these kids that are now grown ups, they're now adults yeah. that were yeah. like that weren't even teenagers when they started listening to me, and they're coming to me about they want to talk to this trying to talk to this boy or this girl, and they're like they like someone and like hey, what do I do here, Tyler? Or like I'm going through this mental health issue, what, like. I take that fucking yeah. super seriously. No, I, me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, wait, like back I, in the day I get when that. you were going through that yourself, you would have wished you would have had someone to give you that advice. So I, I did. I, 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 I did have that advice. Like I, I had those people in my life, and I just want to. Well, yeah. I want to. I want to pay it forward as you well. You want to be like, that person. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, yeah. it's it's just weird thing. Like to me, it's about you. You do good things, not not, not for some fucking reward, like. I just like you. Sh- you should do th- when I do something good. Like in my mind, I just want that person to then pay that forward to someone else in the future, yeah. not give yeah. me something back. You know, you just pass on, pass it on. And the only way to repay me if I if anyone thinks I've ever done something nice for them, don't I don't need something from you. I don't need fucking no. money. I don't need you. I don't need anything. I just you pay that forward to someone else. I don't need a bring favor. It up. No, no, no. Yeah. I'll never bring it up. No, it's like, just it's pay that things. fucking shit forward to someone else. When you're experienced in life, and someone yeah. you see needs that assistance, because I had that, yeah, I looked yeah. for it in my life, and I had several people in my life that I looked to, and I still look to for, for guidance. You yeah. know, from my father to to my to my closest friends and 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 family members and things like that. There's people I go to when I have hard times. There's phone calls I make, and yeah. and you know that I'll, I'll make to people that you know I, I'm close with, but also some people I, I need just in those times that I've had in my life for so long and they're always there for me and that's that's what I have and I'm happy to be that for people that maybe not don't have that because everyone should have that but not everyone does mm. so it's just yeah, it's, it's a just shame. an ear to listen to man and, and it's, it's a massive just, shame I, I take it seriously in the sense of like I don't take your problems on I'm not going to take no. it on I'm not going to fucking lose sleep over your problems I'm not going to take it on board where it's my problem I'll never do that but I'm more than happy to take it seriously in the sense of you ask me a favor, I will seriously respond to you in the most logical, like well thought out way possible. I'll, I'll really take consideration into my response to you. That's what yeah. I'll do. And then yeah. I'll move, walk away and I won't think about it. Yeah. yeah no, and, and they uh, can take or leave that information and do, do with it what they will. Yeah. Yeah. No, whenever I, I help somebody out and I don't usually, I'm usually fucking vile. Uh, when I, whenever I help somebody out, I, um, and and the, and you know they, they they say that whatever they they say thanks or you know that they'll say 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 they're a bit short and then I just I I just give them a bit of cash to sort it out or whatever because I don't care mm-hmm. I don't value yeah. money really um, I value it yeah. within the logic of you need it to live but beyond that it's yeah. like it's like you know what I'm not going to miss this and uh, as uh, you know like and they'll be like um, I'll pay you back and stuff like that. It's like you owe me nothing I don't care um, that's I, sweet, I, I just that's wanted to help nice. that's all that's all there was to it yeah yeah um, and um, and. The the best thing that those um, those people can then do is when they can show show a similar kindness to somebody else because um, yeah it's, if it was if it comes like, back to me then it's not the the good deeds just washed away it's not a good deed anymore it's tit for tat yeah it's just come back um, it's just boomerang it, ground it's not extended like, to other people it needs to extend it needs to be it needs to be a chain like a chain doesn't it? a chain reaction of you know yeah of a good deed does. here is a good deed there and it needs to go on like that and it can't be one way what it can't be a back and forth thing. Um, obviously, obviously, with with your closest friends, there is going to be a back and forth. But with with a lot of people beyond that, as long, there needs to be that. Um, I feel like if you're going to do if you're going to do something kind for somebody, um, the best thing to it, the best things to do sometimes is to make sure that those people pay it forward because that, yeah. that, that helps more people, doesn't it? And that's what I that's yeah, what I like. That being said, most of the time, thing. most of the time, I find myself inconveniencing people and doing them harm with my <laughs> stick. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? 
The stick. You know the picture. The picture. Oh God! Yeah, the picture of you that, with the stick. That's me off to do evil deeds. That. That's me most of the time. That's true. That's you about to go do some crime. Oh, <laughs> God. I, I burnt someone's house down, gave him a tenner, and went buy a new one. He's sure. telling mate. Oh God. It's not oh, usually enough phone. to get on the property ladder, but when I'm in town, the value just dips. <laughs> what? What <laughs> a philosophical out. episode. Yeah. This has been. This is gone. That's because James isn't here. James, is, <laughs> James isn't here. Um, James isn't here. And this started off as us talking about how James perceives, you know, how he perceives himself and how... That's true. And well, this is... It's, it's an interesting one even for me. Like, I've done podcasts for, for many, many years with James. And, and last year, you know, James had a hiatus from the shows and I kept the shows going and I had you boys each co-host uh, the As yeah. Always podcast yeah. with me. So I've done podcasts with just you two individually but I think this is yeah. the first time it's just the three of us that have done the podcast yeah. without James yeah. I think that's a first exactly. yeah. that's I'm a sure if James was so. here he'd echo what we've said as well he, he's very of the same mind as us yeah so, well uh, that's why we're here yeah, you know exactly. what I mean like and that's why this is my very quickly become my favourite show to do the Four Pillars podcast because I, <laughs> oh, I, I, could, I, could, I could talk to you boys forever and always sort of yeah. like, and it's yeah, not, we so don't need a podcast plan week. it doesn't matter if there's no news for games or movies for the weekly it doesn't matter I know we can hit record and the four of us here, we're going to have a genuine conversation between four friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This episode's like a prime example of that, I think. This isn't, this hasn't been too heavy on the gaming chat. It's if been... you can't count to four, I agree. Unfortunately. <laughs> <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> yes, you know, you know what I'm saying. Today, yeah, three, exactly but, I mean. but, but in general, yeah. four, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I forgot there's only three of us. Yeah. Oh, there's God. three pillars podcast, it's fine. Don't worry about it. James, that's the nowhere. thing. You can't hold up a foundation you, with uh, without four. You know that's why when when there's four of us, we're at our strongest. I think. Yeah, yeah. we certainly are. I like a bit yeah, of. We, I like we, a bit of the that's what players. I love about this community. Is actually, that everyone holds each other up. Like with the whole sort of like raiding on Twitch and like fucking sharing each other's content and. And then it's you've just, got it's the, just a beautiful place. Yeah. Well, and, yeah, and no. that's that's a, that's the amazing thing about what all you boys have done individually as well. Because let's say an Ethan who's you know when it's at different areas of when like George your channel's blowing up or Ethan your channel's blown up or James yeah. channel's blown up a high tide if if in a good ecosystem no one's been selfish and been like this is mine I'm now going off on my own because I'm big and you guys are fucking <laughs> yeah. a high, it, it, our community is one fucking ocean and a high tide raises all ships like yeah, we're a fucking yeah. fleet so if one, yeah, we if one person so we're not competing <laughs> Like, and that's the thing. That's we're not fucking trying to fight each other for views or to be the biggest content creator. We're we're in the same fucking fleet. If one of us rise, if one of us you know comes up, we all go up. Like we're yeah, all on the yeah, journey yeah. together. High tide raises all fucking ships. Like no, there's no jealousy there because of that fact. That if Ethan's it. doing well, I'm doing well. That means I'm yeah. doing well. And, and I'm happy boys. for everyone that is doing well as well. Like I'm always happy to see the boys doing bits. Like, yeah, it's yeah. fucking great. My favorite thing to see is I think at the moment. It is Joe's channels getting a bit of traction, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Really, I'm loving. I'm a loving that. Funny video yesterday he, actually he's, about he's, the yeah. day stuff. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's been it's been it's been an absolute privilege to see you know um, Joe and Jack find some success in what they're doing. Um, yeah, it's been so cool. I, ho- to ho- watch I hope that. Jack's okay. He appears to have disappeared. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he's, he's fine. He'll I'm sure back. he's okay. But but. Um, Joe's content um, is is very entertaining, and it's good to see him getting some traction. Like he was on like a thousand um, subscribers around when uh, 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 piss and shit came out, and now he's at like <laughs> six thousand six hundred uh, and thirty. They're such and, funny guys as and, well. Like they're and, such and that's incredible. And that's incredible. Um, yeah, and, that's and his content is diversified. There's obviously some Assassin's Creed in there. There's some. So yep. there's there's some talking points about games in general. Um, yeah, exactly, it, and that's what he, I think he's branching just, out a good time. He's he's, do, he's doing well, and he and he's and he's doing it without doubling down too far on one uh, specific franchise. And yeah. so you know that that growth is going to sustain quite well long term. So he's doing yeah, exactly. so he's doing really brilliantly, and it's and it's brilliant to see those people who have come into the community that we've we've helped build. With no by no means the only people who built it, uh, and 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 they come in and then they start to you know make like, like make content and be and be really good at it and people yeah. are finding them because of that and that's the best feeling and um, there's like so and, many talented artists in our community as well and as it's much like as ridiculous. i love seeing us grow as the four of us i love seeing them grow more you know what i mean i love yeah. that yeah I, I like yeah definitely it's it's very wholesome it's very nice yeah 
Man, yeah. and, uh, we've just been gushing about the community this episode. Gushing, I love it. gushing boys, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing well. I love it, that's, man. Th- that's, that's the takeaway. Don't worry. Before lo- th- at this point, they're probably convinced that that we're not trying to steal their money under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all we're here for. If guys. I didn't make the joke, somebody would make the insinuation. So I'm just that's making true. sure that it's a level field. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Self-deprecation works. Oh my uh, but god! The give fucking Venom trailer just dropped, like literally oh, forty minutes ago. Oh, well, what? they're making another one There's, for the second Venom movie. Oh, Venom, fuck let there off! Be carnage. Yeah, they need it, to make another. Let there be carnage. That's looks dumb. Weird. Let there be carnage. Yeah. Is that to so I assume hate? carnage is going to come into it? Yeah, uh, yeah no, I, I really thought... didn't like that film. It was really bad. I never I, saw it. I I watched it, but I forgot about it after. Uh, it just. I'm, pff, ah, you know what I mean. It's, it's not really. Woody not Harrelson's in it. That's fucking weird. Classic Woody, Woody Harrelson. Carnage. Is he Carnage? Yeah, he plays Cletus Cassidy. I'm pretty sure. Is that the name? Cletus Cassidy is the name of. Yeah. I'm yeah, watching yeah, yeah, this yeah. trailer now. He's just making. He's just making his breakfast with with pff, venom. Classic. Epic. Epic. Tom Hardy. Epic Tom Hardy Venom funny moment where he says yeah. poo or shit or whatever the fuck he said. Yeah. Poo. <sighs> fucking hate that poo. <laughs> fucking hate that <laughs> fucking shit film. Well, it's, it's not as bad <laughs> as like right, Spider Man Three. Sure. But it's, like, it's, it's, it's... I, I just won't watch it. That, that's that's my um, that's my problem solved this time around. Uh, I just I, I get think. really annoyed when there's movies that release and they're just pointless. They serve no purpose. There's no besides there's from, no besides some cheap fan service for um to exploit comic book fans. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's, I get, it's I get stupid that. cunts that fucking watch this shit. They're just like, oh, I fucking love that scene where Venom attacks the fucking symbiote. That was so cool. So like, yeah, Venom is such a such a cool concept for like Spider Man and like t- changing the character of Spider Man from a quintessentially good person into like this sort of morally ambiguous character who sort of breaks breaks the rules of 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 Spider Man and stuff like that. But there's no Spider Man in Venom. It's literally just symbiote action. That's all it is. It sucks. It's so bad. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feed it doesn't feed a fit purpose for actual fan service, does it? No, it's, it's, it's just nice. It's fight. it's taking it's taking part of it and isolating it and going, ha ha! Look at this. Now I can isolate everything else and capitalize on it. Do you, you see Venom that car that, things in this comic? There's a car that, that that Venom smashes <laughs> up. They've got an entire film about that car smashing itself up. <laughs> the ego, you know, you know what I mean? It's the Venom smashing up a car cinematic universe. It's the new <laughs> it's Sony's new uh, new new property that yeah, they're, they're no, venturing it's, into. It you know that um, you know that comic book films have certainly they've, they've certainly ha- had a had had a moment when you start they seeing have. comic book films about characters from other comics like Venom as a Spider-Man character yeah, and all that and they stuff. wanted to make like a Silver Sable movie like, I'm sorry but who the fuck wants a Silver Sable movie man and the, at this point I'm glad it was cancelled you know what? Allow them. If they want, they can do whatever they want. I don't have to watch it necessarily. It's Sony, their fucking films division is so bad. It's like they have, they're, they're so great at games like Sony, but when when it comes to making films, they're just like, they're, wait. What's the what's the Jared Leto actually. one? They're making that bullshit. I fucking hate Jared Leto. But what's what, what are they doing? This it's Jared. another Spider-Man villain. What's the one that? Um, uh, Jared Leto. Uh, uh, Jared Mor- Morbius. 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 Oh my god, how fucked Ugh, is that? Why are they doing fucking Morbius? Who cares, man? I don't give a <laughs> shit about Morbius, dude. Just fucking let fucking Kevin Feige have Spider-Man. Let Disney have Spider-Man. Just fuck off. <laughs> fucking Morbius. Morbius. Well, at least everyone loves the weirdest no, fucker long- in the world. He thinks he's like the most famous man ever. It's so I fucking weird. I fucking hate Jared Leto. He's the fucking worst. That, you want to talk about nar- speaking of narcissists? You want to talk about yeah. narcissists? Yeah. Fucking Jared Leto, piece like, of shit. Thinks he's Jesus or some shit. Somebody I don't know much like his, about his, his Jared ba- Leto. You're gonna oh, have to explain this one to me. Um, well, think think back to like when he was playing the Joker in Suicide Squad, and they cut out all those bits because he's not fucking important right, to that so story whatsoever. You. There you go. And, um, and he's just like all he did was cry about, like cry and cry and cry publicly about how he wanted to be more in the movie and how they cut him out. Oh, what was me? And then when <laughs> he heard that they were that uh, Todd Phillips was making the Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix, he went to his agents and were trying to get the studios to cancel the movie. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah. Joker. 
Like that's and then Joaquin it, Phoenix absolutely smashed it. Oh my god, Jared Lowe's a fucking actor. embarrassment and was a terrible fucking joker. Uh, oh, he yeah, was so bad. and he's just like that sort of like narcissistic baby. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. He was so bad at playing the Joker that fans that really liked Suicide Squad fucking head cannon that it wasn't the Joker that it was Jason Todd, Todd instead. Yeah. That's how fucking <laughs> bad he was. Yeah. That they started well, to believe you're a different character in their own yeah, heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's that's. That, that's pretty peak I'm pretty I'd sure Eddie and Shem still believe that like they still think that to this day they just won't accept they don't realise the Joker well, they don't, what they don't realise is that they just don't like the Joker in yeah, that yeah they don't like Jared they'll Bowie's never Joker, admit yeah. that but they're but passively they're conceding it by going it's not the Joker it's Jason Todd that's but again theory, we know right? Eddie's got some form of fucking like brain hemorrhage because yeah, he watches the fucking Snyder Cut like five times a week and his girlfriend's <laughs> getting really annoyed at him what, what a w- <laughs> wild world we live in where like we say the Schneider Cut and that actually exists that's a real yeah. thing that exists yeah no it used to be like a meme didn't it where people yeah. just go release yeah. the Schneider Cut at random times it was like Half-Life 3 or some shit yeah and now it's yeah, now it's man. an actual thing that exists, and, and it's in four to three aspect Schneider ratio verse. for no They've reason other than on. just a. Why is it in a four to three aspect ratio? Because Zack Snyder is an artist. That's it, why. It, it's it's and he such does, a pretentious he choice. Expectations by making it's shit such films. a pretentious choice to go for an aspect ratio that's expired, that is no longer <laughs> used. <But> yeah, <laughs> and, my new block and use excessive IMAX slow film. motion to make a four hour film. Ah, oh, what a fucking idiot, man. I like using the dirtiest colour grading ever and just fucking making a disgusting looking movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it just you can't like, make good looking movies. Oh, it's rough. And the CGI looks rough as well. Oh, God. And I couldn't yeah, follow any so narrative when I watched CGI. it. I had four hours free one day. I went, fuck it, you know? And come the end of that, I was like, <sighs> could have spent that four hours doing other things, even though I had nothing else uh, to do. You could, you could have watched the Dark Knight trilogy instead. I could have. <laughs> but, I've, but you know, I've already seen those, and I thought to myself, hey, uh, I like them. I will not watch them To be them honest, you probably could have again. stared into space for four hours, and that would have been more fun. I've done that before. Uh, it yeah, is I fun. Like I, do, I make sure you, to do that daily. It. it just reminded me, fun. Ethan, of when you're like, <laughs> when we filmed the Four Pillars skit, um, <laughs> you're like... I've I've seen oh, your lines. I, you know, you need to say I've seen it like this before, and you're like, okay, yeah, well, I have actually, and I'm like, okay, well, look, like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was such a great fucking video, man. Oh, so good, so <laughs> good. Oh. How <laughs> fucking good, by the way, is our fucking clips channel doing? Oh, oh the honestly, clips channel, like, been going just off. quietly. I haven't put a like, couple up in a while. You're yeah, I I want to as well. But like, if you go to most popular clips, all of a sudden, like. Ethan's one with like the most painful mission Assassin's Creed. Why has that got two hundred thousand? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred k. It was one hundred and seventy when I last checked. That's me being shit at Assassin's Creed two, and that's what gets views. Is it the most pathetic the boss fight of, people... of all time? It came out two months ago, and for some reason, it's just hit fifty thousand views in the span of like Ooh. the last week. You know I love I mean? the way like you, you all fucking her video. <laughs> We yeah. all fucking her. We all no. f- oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the, the, the walk out of there. Is if that, that's a place you can come from, <laughs> <laughs> and like it's, that, got, it's just forty six thousand so well, views. I don't know where that. Like I did that <laughs> genuinely, to... just this fucking forty four second rant, and then yeah. I just was moving on with the stream, and everyone in the in the chat goes, clip that, clip that, clip that, clip. I'm like, why? I what? Loved it. I didn't even think <laughs> yeah. anything of it. I'm like, I guess I'll clip it. And it's yeah, like 46,000 views for a 44 second clip of nothing. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, wild. I know it's, it's mad. That channel, we haven't posted anything in about five days on it at all. I'm going to get true, some clips true. up tonight, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sorting them out. Sometimes yeah. I look at it, and I, don't, I just upload a clip. I won't even change the thumbnail to something because the thumbnail that, that it defaults to is just so expressive of it. Yeah, and I go, yeah. I, I kind of like that. Like, there's one where it's like, he's fine. I climb up to a roof on Undead Nightmare where there's like a survivor. I just push him off as a joke and he lands in the fire and burns to death. And there's just a clip of me watching him burn to death. That is the thumbnail. The clip uh, that, it's just amazing. Th- and that's... Oh, I fucking love it. Yeah. Uh, there's just some... There's some there, there, there are some mad ones in there. Um, I don't know if you guys I just, saw, but... Yeah. You got, you think, go on. Go on. Uh, I, I just love that we that we could just post any any absurd, like... One mi- one minute clip shorter sometimes, and um, <laughs> and it, you know it looks, and it just sort of works. You know, it, 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 does it work. gets some views going, it gets some traction going while we make People actual like the best content. It kind of takes the pressure off in a way to it does, yeah, because there is a little bit of pressure to 
because if you leave it too long with content people just stop you know yeah, altogether they, it, it will stagnate interested. it uh, yeah i've seen that one too many times on my own channel to be honest and it takes a bit to get it back going again yeah um, yeah for sure something i love is me and james have recently been doing ai dungeon on horsey and fox and we've been using the clips of that uh for clips and <laughs> it's funny because not really a clip it's one hour long but it's like we've now got it's this funny. Like, story set up with this AI where it remembers stuff that we've set up in the in the sort of text based world, and it is so fucking funny. It's so hilarious. <laughs> it's like this stupid Viking fantasy world that we made. It's like a piss take of Valhalla, and it's like our character's called Blood Soaked Dranger, and we have this dog that's always with us, and it can speak. It's called a magic dog, and it's called Wazia. <laughs> Wazia. She has a she has like this flintlock pistol. And the last instalment, we had like a sort of werewolf sort of type story where uh, we go to this town and Tevda from Assassin's Creed Valhalla is like the lord there and he turns into a fucking werewolf and then we have to fight him at the end and it's just, it's so fucking funny. I I don't remember a time where I laugh as hard as I do when we're doing that and it's like, (laughs) I love the fact that we can use the clips channel to upload those up there. It's just, it's Some of my favourite idea. clips to upload has been when people redeem the Dennis cameo thing and I have to go downstairs with the camera with it calling my Discord on here via a different account so people can see it on stream. And in the oh, background, yeah. there's just the, the soundtrack of whatever game I'm playing uh, <laughs> just as I go and say hello to a nice, a nice gracious, good boy. And nice I did that. Dennis. I think the best, time, the best one is when I did that with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, and so there's just the... Um, there's just the the Rome, the music when you're in Rome, just play in City of Rome. I think it is in the background. <laughs> I'm just there giving Dennis Pats. Let me, I'll find the clip for you. It is, it's genuinely, it's genuinely the most amazing thing because you can't hear any audio of me talking to him or anything oh, like that. Because sometimes it works, sometimes City it doesn't. Of Rome. It's just City of Rome's playing as I, I, I come downstairs and he's just it's sat there like ready for fuss. It's about ten seconds in, and he just oh, there's an ad. <clears throat> Oh yeah, fuck! The music slaps when we meet Denbis. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. And there he is, just enjoying a good scratch. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's that is <laughs> that is it. That's As if we got like the like <laughs> the um, what the fucking preachers? Like what the, the fucking town crier like, in the, the town background? Crier? Yeah, there's a town crier in the background as well. <laughs> yeah, um, people can't. People can't. Um, <laughs> Yeah, people can't hear me <laughs> or anything like that, but they can hear the soundtrack, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I like this uh, comment. You know it's a good channel. Wait, wait. You know it's a great channel when the two most recent clips are... Of... Oh, no, wait. wait oh, can what? you read it, mate? Well, oh, this is it. Okay? Well, we, sorry, I'll mix two comments there together. We'll gladly pay for POV videos of Dennis being pet to various iconic Assassin's Creed tracks. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fetish yeah, there, no. and there's a there's a there's an audience for everything. You can make an OnlyFans, mate. There's a only fucking audience, getting pet to, audience for everything. To the, to the we should um, make a four pillars only fans and just have like weird little animal videos. I'll have okay, crossroads weird, of the world fuck. playing as I, uh, as I as I give Dennis some pats. That's what's going to happen. I can walk downstairs and you'll have the Velen theme playing, and it'll be Oscar and Hudson running around downstairs going. Mental. So they are they mad? Are they still mad? Sometimes they get the zoomies. To be fair, where they will just sprint around the house and just like sprint around yeah. the downstairs. Like four. I don't say Dennis gets the zoomies. He gets the barkies where he just shout at you forever. <laughs> but anyone walks That's into the house who doesn't live here though. and he'll tell him to fuck off until they do. Uh, he will. He will, um, he, will, he, will, he will. be like, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off dickhead, fuck off. And he'll do that nonstop. Miss Oscar and Hudson. They're such fucking. They're so. Good. They're goofs. They're so great. I remember. I remember. I was messing with. I, th- I think I was messing with one of them. And he just sort of lay, lay on his back, and I just pinched his nose like a little bit. And he was just sort of sat there, like, "What the fuck are you doing?" That must great. have been Oscar. He always lays on his back when he wants to play. He loves yeah. it. Was he like sort of nibbling as well, like sort of just like biting and stuff? Yeah, Dennis does that That's sometimes. Classic Oscar. Nibble. What he'll do is, he, if he if he can, he'll get to your ear and start nibbling it. Like first, <laughs> first he starts. Is when he sat on the sofa with him, he's bigger than you. Like you know, he's he's taller than you. So he'll just look down at you, and he'll just his face. If you turn to look at him, his face is just in your face. No. And then before you know, it, you've got this massive dog tongue. And it's like Jesus. No. And then he'll start. <laughs> and then he will just start biting your ear. <laughs> I love Dennis. He's so sweet. I've never guys, met I'm gonna, before, I'm gonna take you on a massive left turn here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I've just discovered something. I've just discovered something, and I want you all to see it. Let's go, mm. for it, man. I reckon I you can put see. this. I reckon you can put this in in the, like a small screen of the video. So this is like an actual sort of like at least amateur level MMA fighter, martial artist fighting what looks like a Karen from the shops. 
Oh my like, god. Like, which is, it's ridiculous. Like, I've watched it, and all I'm saying is, you've got this woman that looks like she's just sent her food back, and she's a fucking foul mouth bitch. <laughs> like, getting in the cage with an actual female, like, at least knows how to fight martial artist. And she's so confident going in this Karen. Like, Karen is like... We're going to count down. Yeah, we'll count down and watch it. But, like, this Karen, like, looks like... She's like, yeah, I mean, this will be easy. I'm just going to pull this bitch's hair out. And she just is in it for a rude awakening. Watch. This is mental. This is... Okay, let's watch. Okay. So, uh, have you guys got it up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This is wild. I... Like... Look! Look at what she's dressed. She looks like she got up and put on active yeah. wear. And, and she looks got, like she just got back from the gym. Yeah, she's got commissioned gloves on and everything. And look, she's not got no form, nothing. She's just standing there. And you got this woman looking like warming she's up, up for it. getting ready to get loose. And yeah, Dude. no, I you can tell where that's gonna go. Well, she's in jujitsu gear. She's in a jujitsu yeah. gear. She's, she's in ready like. To go. She's gonna. Fuck she's got her nicknames up. and shit. She, She's got fucking like seventeen nicknames. Who is this random? Announces. Who is this random calling? woman who's? But what's this? You yeah, but yeah. like, who's she fighting? This she's got a girl that knows how to fight. And then Karen, look at this Karen coming out here. Look at that form. No, no look, that form's terrible. Look at her just slapping oh her. God. She's slapping her. Bang! Drops her. Bang! Oh, oh she's out. She's, well, she's out. Down, she's completely out cold. Punch. She's that completely out. Watch this replay. Watch this replay. That was incredible. Just throwing proper punches. Throwing slaps. Why Bang! Cracks her right this? in the jaw, right in the jaw. Oh, she's right dumping her knees face. and then fucking drops her again. She is completely out cold. She's still down on the ground now. Unbelievable. But why was she allowed to? Fight That's a professional. Hu- fucking huge fighter. question. Huge question. It looks, I want to know the background of that. I want to understand the background of how that happened. I want to understand the background of that. So why? She has three MMA fights. This girl. She has three I... professional MMA fights. She's lost all three of them, obviously. Um, uh, but this girl, what's boy, her name? Katie God. Castro has three professional MMA fights. Has lost all three. But that was. Um, I want to understand when they happened. Hang on. Let me. Let me just now, get get back to you now about so I'm all not, of them I'm were round huge. one finishes she got she got TKO'd all three of the fights the first fight 26 seconds in then 28 seconds and this one 10 seconds in so she's lost all three of her MA fights by first round TKO and she's still trying to fight what the fuck's wrong with you oh god so, so I'm not I'm not too keen on like combat sports I'm not I'm not a huge fan uh, I, I understand the appeal and I've trained martial arts for years and I can respect it but it's not something I find myself watching very often. However, I would pay good money to watch more Karens get knocked the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, I know, hey. I'm wild <laughs> you know? to find context. There is no context to this. <laughs> Dude, it's no, just... It's, so, it's like, just, so it's just a, it's, the, um, it's a minor league professional this, this MMA Karen's fight. Already. And you've got a girl that knows how to fight. And then you've got this delusional girl that probably like likes to train a bit maybe. But looks like she's never trained a day in her life. But she's had three professional MMA fights. And this is her, th- with her, this is her third professional MMA well. fight, and yeah. she looks so like calm, like yeah, I'm here, I'm here to fight. Like, does she just like getting knocked out? Because she's called to fight. She walks she up there with no, no form, <laughs> no business. Whatsoever. She's getting the business. That's what she's fucking getting. Yeah, she's getting oh, the fucking business. She, bang, <laughs> bang around her head. She got shown the door Jeez. there pretty, pretty, pretty severely. She's been oh, dreaming about that door shit. for a while. Just, but you know, take your out. Hand, both her hands are just fucking out there slapping, jaw just I'm wide gonna... open there, and this girl's just stepping back, stepping back, stepping back, swinging with a nice right hook. Bang. Yeah. And then she's down on her knees and just sitting there ready to get fucking cleaned again. And this girl's not like, even, I'll fucking even give it to you. Not putting up a guard. Like, no. Not even putting up any form of guard there, which would have been probably the only thing you could do. No, like, those she... punches were so bad. <laughs> yeah, there was no punches. They can't even call them punches, yeah. You can't even really call them. They're just they're such bad... Like, Surely, <laughs> did they find even if you're at terrible at fighting earlier or what? That's the best. Like response. I've never really fought in my entire life, but I could have better fucking form than that if I was forced into a fight. Like what the fuck was that? <laughs> I once, I, I, I once lobbed the guy over a wall. That was good fun. Um, <laughs> he once lobbed the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. He, yeah, he was. He was being a knob, and and Give it, him a it, it turned lob a bit. Lob over it, the wall. It turned very confrontational because I wasn't having it, and yep. then th- he decided to get big, so I just lobbed him over a wall. It wasn't a very high <laughs> wall, but I still lobbed him over a wall. <laughs> oh god, I'm a very pass- passive man. 
I like oh, yeah. I like to try to be, but sometimes like when I'm playing like Red Dead or whatever, I see a rabbit, I have to shoot it. Um, <laughs> no, I mean you have to. You That's see like a little cute thing in a street. game, and it's got. I wouldn't kill it in real life, but I will kill it in this game. Yeah, um, I'll get my bring... anger out in the games, and in real life, I don't fucking shoot <laughs> so the, rabbits. The... <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't shoot rabbits in real life. I kick them. Yeah, as for um, them as for that kid, he was he was he was being a bit of a muppet, and so I had to I, I had to lob him over a wall. Put him in his yeah, place. Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, and that was, I was, I think I was 16 bit. when I did that, so that was good fun. Um, it's a fucking hot minute ago. Yeah, it was a while ago that. Um, but yeah, no. The, whoever this this woman is, who's just stepping into these rings in 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 yoga gear, she's getting she's getting <laughs> clarted <laughs> out. Disaster. She speed. looks like the wife from GTA 5, man. What the fuck? You'd feel bad, like even being the person's funny. You're like, what the fuck? Are, what? It's a waste of my I time. I spent weeks training for this. What a fucking waste of my time. Just yeah. come here ten She's seconds there. and just clean this poor girl's clock because, of course, I was because she has no business fighting me. Yeah, like what a waste of fucking everyone's time. Waste of her time. I yeah. mean, for the people there, they have to see a bitch get knocked the fuck out. So I guess good for you, but. <laughs> like yeah. other than that it's just a, both of both of them I mean it's a waste of this poor girl's fucking brain cells not that she clearly has my, many but <laughs> yeah, that's well true. not after not dumb. after that fucking knockout no, no. no, no she's no, a vegetable no. now come on that's why it. does she keep going in if she's just gonna get socked over uh, and hopefully over that's again. the last we see of um um you know Combat Karen. Combat, combat, combat Karen. Karen. Fucking combat Karen. <laughs> Holy combat shit! Karen. If, if she shows up again, we'll have a segment called Combat Karen Strikes Again. <laughs> or does she? Unbelievable. Um, so, oh yeah, she doesn't Jesus strike Christ. at all. She, she gets struck. At all. She she tries to. She like it's like. Did you see what she went for before she got like digged straight down? She she went like 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 an overhead sort of slap. Uh, yeah, just like completely open yourself up down below where it's going to come from, and go for an overhead slap, in slap on yeah. somebody who can literally bob and weave out of anything because they've actually trained. Um, just, well oh, done, Combat Karen. You've done it again. <laughs> You've done it again, oh Combat Karen. It's just unreal, unreal. But I, I, that is that is baffling. Like, um, yeah, no, I'm 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 baffled. How is this a thing that somebody let happen? How did somebody look at this and go, yeah? You can go in the ring. Like, yeah. What the well, I mean, money. also it's just like fucking outdoor fucking, you know, shit plastic chairs for the audience seat. So I feel like it's just a backyard fucking hillbilly fighting promotion. But good for them. Sold some tickets. Yeah. Karen, Karen fighting championships. That. Um, is the name of the brand. The I funny think? thing is, the woman that got fucked was prob- probably got more fame off of it than the girl that won. Oh god, <laughs> disaster either way. Oh, just she just like becomes famous it's her thing just get knocked the fuck out she just gets in there knowing she can get fucking knocked out I mean if all you have to she do is doesn't even like, she's trying. get knocked out to make money that's she doesn't even play it's so it. dangerous even... don't ever do that that's not an idea anyone should ever have it's what's so unhealthy yeah, you'll get that, so bad uh, what's that degenerative brain disease CTE get, like, CTE yeah CTE, that's what Chris yeah. Benoit got yeah, well we don't know if Chris Benoit got that Chris Benoit had a lot of other issues but yeah I mean, uh, so it's, hang it's on. highly implied, though, isn't it? What, what well, page are we on here? Chris, ben, Chris Benoit um, was a former WWE wrestler. I fucking saw Chris Benoit wrestle live. I've seen... I've fucking, oh, my God. Yeah, that's, back, that's quite chilling, that. Yeah, back in 2005, um, yeah. I saw him wrestle Booker T for the United States Championship. Um, I'll T. never forget that. That was the only WWE live event I went to. I saw... Who was the man? I saw The Undertaker, fucking Rey Mysterio. This was right after Eddie Guerrero died. Right after Eddie Guerrero died. Or maybe it was before. No, it was after Eddie Guerrero died. And then Chris Benoit, yeah, I saw Chris Benoit wrestle. Um, and then, was, like, it a good, was, was it a good show? It was fucking great. I was a kid. Oh, oh how old was yeah. I? I would have been 11. I was 11. So I fucking loved it. I fucking loved that show. The thing is, the facade of, of wrestling was was um, open to me at a very young age, so I could never enjoy it. Oh, I mate, I knew, I knew it was fake when I started watching it at eight uh, years old. I guess I always, it is. I like always knew it was fake. I still thought it was fucking entertaining. So, I always I watched wrestling till I was like fifteen, sixteen. My my yeah. nan watched wrestling. Oh Your God, nan watched it. wrestling. Yeah, yeah. She watched. Uh, um, she watched. <clears throat> I forget what it was called. It wasn't WWE or anything like that. It. She watched TNA or something. TNA. Like that. Why the fuck would you watch TNA? Because she's an old woman. Fucking. And she's mad. And well, she also has Alzheimer's now. But yeah. that's besides the point. It's, ob- it's yeah, obvious. No, that I was. She'd, she'd always just sit there and go wallop him. You know, just just proper get into it. Yeah. But like, I was a have big, him, have big, him. My nan's a... the most. My nan was the most passive woman going. Now she's just sort of 
well, she's, she's she doesn't even remember that. So she, she so she's been doing all sorts. She's gone on a mad one, to be fair, but she's chilled out now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, no, I, she, I to, to be fair, I, to be fair, I got me- I got like me- I got like messages from my dad going, um, yeah, she she, she cooked, she kicked a nurse in the face. Um, oh I'm like, oh. Oh, sh- sh- now I see where I get. Hit him with the chair! <laughs> Hit him with the Hit chair! Him. It's the wrestling. I'm like, it's the wrestling. She's been impressioned by it because she doesn't know it's not real. Um, Wait, really? She thinks that's just what people meant- do every day. She, she thinks she thinks that if somebody gets dropped from from twenty feet, they're going to be fine in a normal situation. She goes, "Yeah, have him, have him," she, <laughs> and that's that's what she, that's what she she likes. It I was, mean, it I was, worked honestly, for a pro wrestling company when I was at uni. I was a f- um, cameraman. For a, That's pretty cool. For a pro wrestling company, I met a lot of like XWWE people that I used to watch as a kid and shit. It was fucking weird as fuck. Um, but I luckily I had an understanding of, of pro wrestling um, as a fan of it in terms of like how it sort of worked in the background, how the business worked. Um, mm. You know, and just watching these guys that you know you're watching TV and them working the in <clears throat> behind the scenes and you know who was Drew McIntyre was like WWE champion just like last year like WrestleMania won the WWE title. Like big guy, I worked. I've worked with him like three or four times, and he was a great oh. guy to work with in real life. Like such a good guy. Like there's a lot of those WWE guys that came over, and you know they're there for. They're, they're, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have a bad word to say about any of them. Like fucking Alberto Del Rio, fucking Scotty Too Hotty, fucking hilarious. There's a lot, a lot of people, and they were all pretty good. Like even behind the scenes, I don't really have anything negative to say about any. Uh, mostly, but. They were th- they Ooh. weren't there for the promotion for the fucking local the promotion. They're there for a paycheck and they're to hang out with fans as well. They were good about the fans, and if you're good about the fans, I'm cool with you. But Drew McIntyre genuinely cared about the whole show and everyone else working there, even though he was just over from overseas. Like he would like help the other guys. He'd work with me as a cameraman and chat to me about like what he wants out of the match, where he wants us to be, and he'd like include us all in what was going on. So that was like cool. It's weird. It's so weird. I always remember thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, man, I wish I still liked wrestling because 12-year-old me would fucking be wetting his pants yeah. over what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe this could be a new segment. You can get back into it. But instead of a Tyler's UFC segment from the uh, I've tried to watch wrestling here ago. and there. Like, I would always watch, like, WrestleManias when they came around just for the love of it when The Undertaker was still around because The Undertaker's, like, mm. my favourite of all time. That's um, yeah. a classic boy. And, but but now Undertaker. that he's gone, I just don't see the fucking point. And plus, even then, it was just sad watching him those last couple of years. I just turn on WrestleMania. I'm like, oh, is Undertaker wrestling? And he was. And then it's like, oh man, he's like 50. He needs to stop. Um, yeah, that's true. But well, like, I loved, well, I loved guys like Edge was and uh, was always my favorite. And CM Punk, right before I sort of stopped watching, he was my favorite. So I fucking love those boys. But like, anyone, I don't really know anyone now. Like, I know people. <laughs> I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone I don't now. Know any of you? I, I know. I like. I know them sort of. But like I don't I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know the storylines. But even though it's fucking always fairly interesting, but I don't know the law. But here's the thing: like I'm an MMA guy. Like I, I love martial arts, so yeah. I don't give a fuck yeah, about yeah. fake shit. Like I I can appreciate the business, and I'll always respect pro wrestling because I've, I've worked in the business. I understand the business, and it, and mm. those guys, a lot of them put in so much hard work, and they genuinely put their bodies on the fucking line. But then I've also met some fucking pussy pro wrestlers that that fucking are very popular in front of the audience, but they're a bunch of fucking pussies behind the scenes and I'll have a cry if they actually get punched in the face for real like as an accident man these fucking bitches cry in the background I'm like you need to shut the fuck up stop fucking crying oh my god and then you have people that genuinely put their bodies on the line and do crazy shit and come out with stitches and they don't complain one iota so there's some pro wrestlers that are tough as fuck don't get it twisted but then there there are some pussies in there I could tell you some WWE guys are fucking pussies like and, and would get the shit kicked out of them for real um, so they come down <laughs> fucking Northampton town, mate. Mate, they they're fucking, fucking going to get it, son. They're going to fucking get it. They shot <laughs> yeah, my house, well, they're fucked. Well, I feel like the best takeaway from this <laughs> is that my nun used to enjoy a bit of wrestling um, before she yep. got taken away to the zoo. Um, yeah. The zoo. <laughs> uh, she, she's, she's, in a, she's in a nice little um, home, I think, at the moment. Um, she liked wrestling, though. That was good. Um, she, she was crazy. She's always been crazy, though, my nan. Um, That's where you got it from. Yeah, well, my my nan's a different kind of crazy. Um, well, like clinically crazy. That's what he's saying. Ooh. I think I believe so. Yeah, I mean that's not a very no, nice term, is it? Actually, cl- she's no, not clinically, clinically crazy. crazy. She's George. You're so fucking insensitive, man. I know. I'm Fuck. sorry. I'm still it's listening to Halo music. By the way, it has not <laughs> stopped. 
It's just um, playing in the background. Well, no, but I love the fact that she wa- she would watch wrestling because I just sort of see her doing it. And I'm like, this is the thing that you hear about, like like old ladies enjoying really, really extreme kind of sports, extreme things. It's a um, weird one, eh? I just I'm trying to imagine and like like her just screaming at the TV when fucking it's like old ladies are getting into guns. Hulk Hogan and drops the leg, fucking. Like I said, it wasn't it wasn't any of the big boys. It was TNA. Oh yeah, oh, yeah TNA. Fucking. I don't even. I don't even know anyone. TNA's from... not even around anymore. I don't think. I don't think. What TNA happened to been... it? That's no wonder she doesn't watch it anymore. Yeah, I don't think um, TNA's still around. I don't know what TNA even was. Like, it's, just, it's just sort of like some bootleg thing. I don't it's know like, why I still know wrestling you, things. Like, you know, I know the company names. I know this AEW is the big new one that's happening. Like, I don't know like why the, um, I know things like this. It was like the Citroen Picasso of. Um, of wrestling i guess yeah. you know how old people have this like this like inclination they see something that is shit and cop it they look at it like oh look at this car it's a honda jazz oh, it looks I, really dull i tell you Must what, cop was, mine. what was good about being a wrestling fan when i was a kid the fucking video games were fucking awesome the yeah. like smackdown versus raw games were so fucking sick as a kid like i just loved playing the wrestling games i love there was one with a character creator in which we created an absolute abomination that's it had a tass it had a tattoo on its back that said batty and we couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman it's just Uh, wild you can create some uh, crazy shit in that fucking yeah we could we we, we just it just had a tattoo on its back that read batty and it was a big muscular (laughs) behemoth of a thing Mm. that looked almost like a robot good old batty it had a different name, but I feel like that name's a bit of an attack on somebody who actually exists. They won't be watching the podcast, but yeah, so or listening matter. at all. Fuck them. Doesn't matter, but just the same. Um, Batty is what we called is what we called this um, this, uh, this 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 uh, monstrosity, really. Um, Batty man, just Batty. <laughs> it was like a blue tattoo on the back that said Batty, and it had like pink skin, and it was massive, bulky, Fuck and had huge yeah. feet that weren't even feet shaped. It was truly. <laughs> Insane. Are you sure you weren't playing Spore, fucking alien <laughs> creator? <laughs> it's on. It's definitely on one of my um, one of my Instagram highlight things. It's on one of the saggy cheeses, I reckon. Um, it it's uh, tr- saggy cheese. Saggy cheese one is what it's in. The one that just says saggy cheese. I think that's where that's it is, and it's it's truly sensational. If I go through Saggy Cheese 1, I should be able to find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the third one in Saggy Cheese 1. That is batty. <laughs> About to fuck someone up. Batty. <laughs> look at that monstrosity. Oh my god. It, look Wait, at where that have you, monstros- where, have you put it? where have you put oh, it? Oh, uh, it's just on the... Uh, oh, I'll, I'll link it here. Hang on. Let me find the... Let me try to get the link up. Because it... Jeez, like, okay. Right. If you open... If you open this, and and if, it should take you to it, really. Um, I don't know Let's what the link called. Should a take me to stories. view that story, and there's three in. New story. One. Oh and god! Is, there's something working bad. on. Oh, oh god! What the fuck fucking Instagram that? stories on PC. How the yeah, fuck dude, this is, is this wild work? as fuck? How do I get through this? <laughs> do I tap <laughs> on the things at the top? Oh, oh hang on. Uh, yeah, no, I I see. Um, just just click on just click on the account and then go to Saggy Cheese, which is which is ah, okay, and th- and then just go from there. Um, but yeah, now that's that's kind of well. It's the third one, in, did you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Batty. Yep. <laughs> that's batty. And that, oh and that my was only god. and that was only two years ago. That's unbelievable. <laughs> We made what, a what a this tangent what a fucking this is a wild tangent I don't know how <laughs> I like to think this has been a wild episode I like to think that that's my this that's my an, nan's inner self this is an ins- what an what a fucking weird episode this has been this is I think people will remember tangent. this one. Oh, this is a great there's no episode. James there's uh so people no James no problem guys fuck him he doesn't <laughs> need to come back <laughs> oh cool uh, <laughs> but, but this is what we do like you know James has you know got gone through some shit uh, but we all we, we have each other's back. The show goes on, and we you know it we does. hold down the fort as best we can. You boys we did do. the same a few months ago when I when I had to bail out halfway through a show for some personal issues, like That's you true. know, and it was still a great episode. 
So we, we, you know, we've got this. We hold the fort down. We do what we got to do, and uh, it's been a fucking awesome episode. We've done, the we've done well, continues. lads. We've done yeah, well. Yeah, I think we've done brilliant. It's been a fucking good time. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. think there's much left to do. I think we could probably wrap this episode up about here. Yeah, we've, yeah, yeah. We've done yeah. everything, um, everything under the sun, really, at this point. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally. But so bloody good one lads um, and obviously to everyone listening on podcast services thank you so much and if you're watching on youtube on the four pillars network be sure to subscribe like the podcast um and support us support us there where you can and if you are listening on podcast services give us a high rating five stars please do all that sort of shit that'd be um, lovely yeah. appreciate the fuck out of all you guys for the support on the four pillars network um on this show and all the other shows um, and sorry, it's a bit delayed this week. Be sure to check out Streamcast from this week with The Witcher. That's already out now. Um, where they review episode one and two of The Witcher um, Netflix series for season one. And then uh, on tomorrow, because it's coming out Wednesday. Tomorrow we've got we sh- oh, do, are we do, we got the past cast this week. Ethan, do I know don't. What's going on? I okay. genuinely don't know. Hopefully the past cast on Thursday, but Friday for sure. The time I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go and. I'll, I'll, I'll hold them at gunpoint and get an answer. Yeah, cool, perfect. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure Hopefully it out. the past cast on Thursday, Friday, the Tynamite show's dropping. Got some cool stuff in that, including a new David Drum original song videos premiering cool. in that episode. So Hell there's yeah. cool shit going on there. Be sure to check it out. Um, and obviously subscribe to everyone's individual channels, YouTube, Twitch, all that sort of shit. Thank you yes. so much for tuning in. Thanks, boys, for being here with me. Um, no problem. F- for this good. great podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. See you later, lads. Take care. Bye.